Welcome to Wednesday! It's Zero Page Homebrew, and we play new games on classic consoles here. And this is Erlen, and I'm James. Hey. And we're gonna uh, play some, play four games today, and also do some unboxing. Oh, four. And Normally it's, it's three. It's, it must must be some smaller ones, or there's some. There's two smaller ones, two new works in progress, okay, and cool. two finished games. Um, so it's kind of a balance. I'm gonna put the finished games in the end. Works in progress in the middle. One is like a brand new game, and you can you can you can move around and look at it and play a little bit, but it's just started. And one is getting near completion. Oh. Um, so welcome to Wednesday. Welcome to Zero Page. Let me get my notes up. Um, and one of the unboxings is make sure we're good. Yep. One of okay, the unboxings. <laughs> I was paranoid because last episode. Um, I forgot to turn on the volume for something, and we're like silently mouthing words yeah. at the beginning. Oh, it's terrible. Well, it's hard Drives to multitask. You can tell why people on shows have a mixer going, because it's like Oh, yeah, and nightmare. have a separate audio and video person doing all the switching, and just the person talking is just talking, so they can concentrate on what they're doing. Yeah, because it's like once you're talking, and it's something if something's going wrong... You're not ta looking at the chat telling you, Volume, volume, we can't hear you, volume! <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, do you guys use that Vox thing? We do, but we haven't played a game that uses a Vox, the Atari the, Vox, in a uh, yeah, long yeah. time. Um, we so... used to hear that beautiful Atari Vox every <laughs> yes. time we turn it on. But we haven't uh, played a game that involved it in a long time. Um, one of these unboxings is to do with a game today oh, that we're cool. going to be playing. So there is a chance it's broken <laughs> or I have doesn't a work. Suspicion um, about what this might sure be it's... based off of what people have been saying. Well, in the I've chat. already I've already revealed it because okay. I kind of had to um, because I had to tell say what game we're gonna play with. Well, then it. they know something that I don't know. But which is great. as always, when you order things online, it could be a box of rocks. <laughs> That's a good point. Uh, of which I've never ordered. Of and received a box of rocks. Uh, luckily, what's the, what's the worst thing, the worst trade that you've gotten? Like, have you ever ordered something and then gotten something that's terrible? Um, no, I've never encountered that. I've encountered some things that have never showed up. Yeah. Which, they, luckily, there are small things. I didn't pay a lot for I have them. A few of those too. Yeah. And they were just minor, you know electronic tiny things for five dollars or whatever and they're just ordered from a chinese website and you kind of get what you you know yeah you know when you're when you're riding the line yeah and and it's one of those things where it's like oh it's gonna take four months to get here it, it might not show up and you paid nothing next to nothing with it and no shipping cost <laughs> <laughs> and that's why it takes four months to get here but the probably the most interesting one i might have said this on the show before i record i ordered a record once from a guy and I, I, it was, I can't remember what the record was. It may not have been important, to, but it was a record that I wanted. And I ordered it and everything is fine. And then it's, it's, you know, marked as shipped or whatever. And then I waited months and months for it. And I messaged him, say, hey, where's my any, record? Where's dude? my record? Any problems? What's happening with my record? Um, no answer back. Nothing. Just radio silence. And I, you know, emailed him a couple more times. Hey, I'm going to have to, I think it was eBay. I'm going to have to give you a bad mark. Yeah. You're not responding. That's the only, like, power you have in that exchange. Is, is... Yeah. It might have been past the refund date. Because I'm really lenient with people. Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm like, you know, this guy's really good record of selling things on eBay. Uh, and you don't want to be that guy. Who... No, it's like, oh, I'm impatient. It's one day late. You get a zero score. Um, so it affects that person's living in, in many ways, too. It, it does. And I wanted to give them the benefit of the doubt. And then I, you know, gave him a bad score because he never answered, never showed up. And I want to say like four or five months later, um, the record showed up uh, with no, in, like... No emails from this person. It just, just, in the mail, showed up. Perfectly fine. Record was great condition. But it had a note in it, and it said, I, f I found this record on my son's desk, um, and, it, it was all and it was all addressed. Um, he unfortunately passed away, 
<laughs> a, a couple of months ago, but it was all ready to go, so I thought it would be important to send out. And I was like, oh my god, that's crazy. He's a little, it's like a, a kid. Or, yeah, somebody it's, lived at home, or maybe it was a little like bit older. 20 and, something. And the mom came and cleaned up his house or something, who knows. But it made it to the stage of being addressed. And ready, ready to, to go. All, and then all he patched died. Up, and then he died before he could send out this record to me. And and you're and you're and meanwhile giving I'm giving a shit. bereaved <laughs> family. <laughs> giving him a, ba <laughs> a bad mark on his eBay. Not that it matters anymore. But it was really nice that oh you cannot take negative feedback, feedback back. back. No, it's like you gave it. This is truth in life, man. Once <laughs> yeah. it's out there. Once it's out there, yeah. So it was really nice of that mother to send it. And, wow. And it was just quite a story. And I believe I wrote her back. Yeah, and like, you're like through a, a letter. But she may never never get it because it was probably went back to his house. Yeah. And maybe they've sold it or who uh, who knows. But maybe she'll get it. And then I thought it was like a really nice thing for her to do is send off. And, you know, that's what you have to do when somebody dies. Oh, this is so morose. Um, no, but is, is you clean up everything that was happening in their life. Yeah. You have to pay off their credit card bills. You have to, it's a lot of stuff you know, to deal with. follow through, pay their debts and apparently send off their records <laughs> <laughs> any mail that's sitting around i guess you know that was important that was the last thing they were, were like the last thing they did wow. was to package my record before they died that's crazy and it was, it was and, just and really he, weird. how do you throw that on the the this the thing and play hit play and just yeah reflect on life and death and the cosmos <laughs> and like yeah i can't what, remember what record it was but i could I could probably go back in my archives and figure it out, but it's not, you know, they're not yeah. connected in my mind, the record to this. I remember the story, though. There had to be a song that just was like the perfect poignant, you know <laughs> what I mean? You hit, you hit play and it's like, yeah. you know. That's like I something wish out you of were, a movie, though. I wish so. you were here. Or like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying <laughs> yes. to think of what the, most, what the most cliche version of that would be. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or it'd be it would be better if it was just like hardcore gangster rap, just totally in the opposite direction. <laughs> yeah, that would be yeah, little be something just screaming. Yeah. I don't think that would be your taste though. I don't imagine. No, no, I do like a lot of rap music. Yeah, yeah. and hardcore gangster rap, <laughs> that's especially the, oh, that's James from the eighties, early nineties. We've learned some stuff about James today. Yeah, I like it. yeah. Um, but other than that, I've never really had any problems yeah. shipping or receiving things. I think maybe oh. In terms of shipping, uh, once I shipped something to somebody and they said they never got it. Yeah. And I'm like, that... oh, I've never, I've, I've shipped hundreds of things and it's never been a problem. Can you just wait a bit? This wasn't through eBay. It was just like a personal yeah. sending. So there's no negative feedback. You know, they couldn't do anything <laughs> Other than about losing it. a friendship. Then. Yeah. Or them <laughs> talking crap about me online yeah. to the community with that, which I sold the thing within. Um, and I, I don't know if I resent it, but just before I resent a new thing for them, um, they said, oh, I finally got it. My mom was stealing my mail from me as a punishment for something. Oh God. I was like, oh my God, do you not like, does she not think through the ramifications of yeah. not giving somebody mail like like it's weird and people don't do that like as people are pretty self-centered because they don't think about like the ripple effect of something like that no it's just people think like oh i'm pissed off i'll just i'll punish this one person but you're like oh, then all these people who are surrounding them it can be you know thrown into the fire maybe the thing they're getting was for somebody else a present maybe it's a you know medicine or who Anything. knows what it could be like it doesn't it the, the world is bigger than what you think it is usually it's not an isolated thing that yeah. everything you do has a butterfly effect that that, hap that is associated with it um nothing is isolated um it may not be a big butterfly effect but it is something you know right. they got the they ordered this thing for a reason um to make them happy to make somebody else That's happy right help them or who knows what it is welcome to zero page shipping nightmares with james yes yeah, the only i don't have any stories but the only thing i've i've encountered is people who 
think that eBaying or being part of that is going to be this lucrative, amazing business. Oh, okay. And then the reality hits in where it's a nightmare, and the money you make is actually very minimal. Well, and yeah. like they and they had this like these dream that oh I'll just go thrifting and I'll get some thrifting things and then I'll and then you actually get down to it and it yeah. is and it is also like things like what you're describing where oh, if you God. send it out. There's no it way never to know. Arrives. And and like That's why a lot of shipping's really expensive on eBay because it's tracked. That's right. It's like no, you got it. You can't complain. Your signature is on it. That's right. And that's that's why really experienced sellers anywhere they they do tracking all the time because they are they're done with that. They're fed up with that. And you're competing with the world yes. for whatever you're trying to sell. You have to compete with their prices unless you're offering something totally unique that nobody else is selling, which is usually something you have to make. Oh yeah, and and it's also playing that mu that like numbers game of like, yeah. okay, we'll start at this number, and then but but also the bidding thing's a nightmare because you end up yeah. losing money. So I one of my uh, a friend's mother was doing it, and she was at it for like I think about a year, yeah. and at the end of the year she had lost like like <gasps> something like a thousand dollars from this eBay thing that she thought she was going to be this easy thing, oh, and she's like, God. I wasted a year of my life doing yeah. this. Yeah, you have to you have to get in get into things at the right time. Oh yeah. When people are just finding out about it, but it's not big yet. And then you can get in. But I want to say hi to everyone and yeah. tuning in. Uh Gear Van, Mr. Fix, and Paler twenty six, Dan A V C Thrust twenty six, Spinley nineteen seventy. Arena uh, Foot Arena Foot who says he has to go to the doctor. Oh he won't no. Be here for a I hope you're okay, man. Yeah, I hope you're doing fine and it's just a checkup and it's not Something too bad, or you're recovering from something. Um, and I want to thank the Twitch subscribers. Gretem's Ground Trooper, I supposed to. And, oh, Kev73 snuck in there. Yeah, Put man. his hand up. <laughs> <laughs> What's uh, that? I know a lot of emoticons. It's a head but... with an arm going, hey, oh. it's me. I mean, oh, it's, okay. It's pretty out there. That does make sense. Because there's only one line, right? I you, see it now. You can't I... do a whole body. Yeah, you, you I've been a, around the internet a you, while. You need like a, what is it, an equal sign afterwards for some feet, and then it's perfect. <laughs> it's been lying, oh, yeah. if he's lying down, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, I supposed to Johnny WC23, Mr. Fix, RC78, Tiki, Dan K, and you can support the show too by subscribing for free with Amazon Prime uh, if you um, link it to your Twitch, tri Twitch Prime and hit subscribe. He was trying not to be cryptic. Oh. Well, hey, I got it. I understood James what you James knows saying. what's up. I'm yep. Um, and the games we're going to play today, it's four games, like I said on the top, um, Starfire from 2003, uh, by Manuel, I'll just say. 2003? Yeah, yeah, it's an old one, it's an early one. That's cool. Uh, Kung Fu Combat from 2019, work in progress, brand new game. Cool. Uh, The Children of Hurin, um, 2019, work in progress, so brand new one as well. And again, we're going to be revisiting Thrust Plus Platinum. 2003. I don't think I've by Thomas played Yates. that one. No, you haven't. I played it last time with Tanya, and it is not her type of game. Oh, she was. She so, was. She like, was like, "No, this isn't working for me." And it's it is a challenging game. The controls. Think I'll be into it. We will see. Okay. You might be. It's uh, we. I'm gonna. One of these boxes has to do with the game. Oh. And um, so this might help, or might confuse us even more with the game. So we will see. Um, I'm gonna this one's make already sure I like it. Though. Yeah, <laughs> you better like it. Uh, Thomas is here, who made the game, so you better. Like I, will. It. I will. I will. Uh, so I was when I showed off the Atari Award um, awards trophies. Yeah. I guess um, people were going, "Oh, my name's not on it." Well, no, I had to order these a long time beforehand right. because it takes a lot of coordination to buy these and. If I had your name on it, I would either have to wait a long time before the winners were announced or the winners were tabulated and the show happens. That's because right. Because I would have to, okay, here's all the then winners. it's all delayed. Yeah, and, and then they'd have to laser it in and then they'd have to ship it and there'd be a long delay. And I was like, no, I don't want to wait that long. Um, or I'd have to send them back, which is really expensive, and yeah. get them re-lasered in. Or just everything was not a good option um so they were like oh we want our names on the trophies 
Well, we can't have that. So somebody suggested um, including a certificate. So smart. And send a certificate to the winners as well. So that there's something official associating their names with um, winning, you know, best homebrew, this best like, sound. This is turning into an open source show. Exactly. It's so great. It's the um, best part of the internet. So I got these um, certificates with the gold around the edge, and I thought they looked pretty nice. So I'll um, print all the information inside. You know, Atari Awards 2018, winner of best blah by blah blah blah, etc. etc. Um, so that'll be. I'll put diploma on it. You have graduated from homebrew school. That's right. <laughs> Uh, yes, Kev says, I think that's why they glue a metal engraved bit on trophies with the name after them. That's right. But I like the really clean look to those. I do so, too. Yeah. And, I, and it's also, I think, too, you reach a point where it's nice to just be done with the the, the thing. Like when the Atari Awards end, it's nice to just send all the things out and be done. Send it out. Because I can than, print this like really quick. Yeah, rather than bleeding really out done. for a long time. Um, yeah, you want it done. You want everybody to get their trophies. And uh, yeah, they do look great. Yes. I, um, on the Atari Awards topic, I mean, yes. I'm sure you've heard the big Oscars kerfuffle where oh, they've cut God. out cinematography and editing if you were those aren't important if you to a film are they no they're not important <laughs> at all but here's the link let's imagine that we were doing the same thing with the atari awards what would be the equivalent that we would just not do well, cinematography would be graphics yeah so graphics who not needs important those? who needs to do that who needs graphics for we'll games. do those, those in the commercials done. we'll just announce those in the commercial you yeah. can watch it online that's the, right and um editing would programming I, maybe yeah honestly. it would be fitting into programming it would be like the the bug fixing yeah the bug fixes and the you know making the game better as it goes along yeah it's it's <laughs> that's crazy <laughs> best judges ever well we did get i did print my own zero page homebrew so best so, award show so ever. on an unrelated note <laughs> we're getting rid of graphics and yeah uh, <laughs> we'll be sh We'll, we'll be doing them, but just not live. So yeah. Watch them online. Watch them later somewhere else. You know. Yeah. So if, if people haven't heard, yeah, the Oscars are not this year. This year. They're doing a rotation because <laughs> because the awards shows are too long. That's right. Which they are. They're very oh, they're, long. They're, they're horrible. And they do. They have for a long time did awarded people a lot of technical awards, mm -hmm. not live. It's like a best innovation in camera technique or best visual effects innovation yeah they, they don't do those and the lives. lifetime achievement awards they weren't doing which was a weird thing because it would be like yeah. here's francis ford coppola talking <laughs> who needs to listen to him that's a weird one it's just like well i i feel like rather than hearing the twilight people kind of give an awkward bit because they're not really you know the best are the, old there <laughs> the best are the comedians right yeah it's, but it's like you know the, rather than having some kind of pop culture thing let's listen to this legend legendary person like talk for like five minutes oh yeah those are really interesting usually yeah but yeah anyways it's... anyway we digress it's uh yeah it's it's affects us not directly because we're nowhere near that oscars because you have to either be hollywood <laughs> yeah or be super famous and do a lot of films and put a lot of work in. and live action shorts are gone so the idea that anybody who couldn't be part of like that was always a cool category because it was like the dream for like a young filmmaker would yeah, be anybody oh, can get into that if, if you're good yeah, enough you don't right. have to have an in because none of the people doing shorts are known and having your face on TV could change your career. A lot of the people who won Best Live Action Short ended up going on to be directors. So it was kind of yeah. frustrating. It's stepping stone. Now it's just like this insular, like, uh, you know. I mean, it's always been that way. but It it's, has been. It's just the way the world's going. Uh, I would watch these award shows if they had the biggest A-hole of the year award. Well, you can watch the, um, the other ones that are done the day before, which yeah. are the... Oh... What are they called? Like, they give the award, awards out to the worst films. Oh, the Razzies. Like the Razzie Awards. Yeah, the Razzies. And the funniest Razzie Awards are when the person is nominated for an Oscar and a Razzie in the same year. Like, two, usually actors. Yeah. Two movies that, you know, they're just terrible in, or the movie's terrible, and they just happen to be in it, and they can't rescue it. It's nothing. And then they happen to be in another film that's just amazing as well. And that has happened, I think, two or three times. And it's so funny. I think Sandra Bullock was one. Yeah. Where she was in that football film. Uh, yeah, yeah. Which was, you know, 
I can't remember what it's called, but that did very well. It's called she, The Blind Side. The Blind Side. I've seen all this stupid <laughs> things. <laughs> and, and then she was in another terrible film, which yeah. I have no idea which was. So we're going to open this one up, and this is not the one to do with Thrust. So I'll leave that one to last. Ooh. Um, and I saw this on another channel, and I was like, oh my god, that solves a problem I didn't know I had. Well, I knew I had it, but I didn't know that there was a solution to it. Um, careful with that knife. I'm a bit scared. I just don't, I just don't want you to get hurt. Oh, no. Oh, I'll sure be fine. fine but... I'll be fine. Hopefully. Now, this is a kit. I know I know what this is. Sometimes I don't know what these are. Um, let's see. I'll put it that way. Um, this is actually a joystick. Whoa. Um, put, and you put it together this yourself. This is an Ikea joystick. It is. <laughs> so, hopefully, it's not too hard, but I have... Oh, plastic screws. All Thrust says he might not be online in 40 minutes. Uh, okay. Well, you can watch your game after in the yeah. archive. So, sorry, dude. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> um, here's the uh, joystick extender, of which I bought some joystick extenders because we're like leaning over in oh, recent shows. Oh, that's smart, yeah. Because all the stuff is moved away from us now because I have a new setup. Although the gamer lean-in has a certain, uh, uh, you know... Yeah, There's it's a focus. intensity to it. it. It raises the stakes, but we can save those for when we're when we're needing to get closer. Yeah. So this is called a mini monster joystick. Wow. And I can't really show anything to you because it's, it's all flat right packed, so it's not. You can't really see it, but you can look it up. Um. What this joystick does? It's a normal joystick. Um, it has one, you know. A joystick control like an arcade control yeah. and i bought the arcade upgrade so it has good buttons um and it, but it's got two buttons and you know an atari normal atari joystick has just one button and that's all there is and we have an upgrade kind of genesis controller as well that allows for two buttons but you have to program the game specifically for that this new joystick has two buttons and the game does not have to be programmed for the oh, second shit. button it actually works with two buttons. Uh, cherry switches? I'm not sure what they are made of. Um, which brand they are. Um, the second button is programmable. So you can program the second button to be a joystick direction. Um, and why that is relevant is to Atari 2600 games, Commodore 64 games, all those games, all those uh, systems that used the Atari joystick um, configuration in platformers specifically that platformer where you have a gun so think about this you have a gun and jump so there's two actions plus you have to move left and right yeah so what the in those games what you usually had to do is up for jump mm -hmm. and up for jump is terrible it's the worst thing ever it is so annoying and it makes the game really, really hard. So what this does, it, it makes the second button assignable to up, down, left, or right. So you can assign the second button to be up. Oh, so that way you can like push it and then have it. Oh, yes. I see. So now you have fire and jump on a 2600 game, which is so good. So I saw this, saw somebody um, review oh. this joystick. And, and I, I guess like, you can push up and obviously it'll do its own thing, or you can push the button. Yeah, so you have the, you still have the choice. Um, River Raid with a back to slow down would be also helped. Yeah, any game that has a direction, usually up and down. Yeah. Um, like a, a left and right, or games with shield as well. Like um, Asteroids has down for shield in some of the options. So you could assign that to shield. So you have fire and shield. Uh, up Using up for jump works perfectly for Turricane 1 and 2 on the C64. Yeah, so if if the jumping works, that's fine. But it, I find a lot, it's very awkward to push yeah. up. Because if you want to hop over things, you have to press up and to the right. And I just find it, and a lot of people find it awkward, enough that somebody would make a joystick specifically for that one problem. And I saw it and I went, oh my god, I just have to have it. So, I will be putting that together, and whenever we play a platform or a game that has, you know, a second, like a down or an up assigned to something else, um, 
would be really handy and actually would be somewhat handy for the game we'll be playing today, oh. Thrust, because it has um, up and down. Up is move forward, and you're oh. spinning left and right. So it is one is thrust. And um, down, and it has a bunch of different directions for different purposes. So that is really cool. Um, the next one, uh, that one I got directly from a website. This one I got off eBay. From Britain, from the UK. Oh, this looks and retro. Is people who know a bit about um, the game Thrust would might guess what this is. It is the foot pedal oh. for for the game Thrust Plus. And this, all, the, coincidentally, these solve the exact same problems. Oh, cool. Uh, but, but Thrust Plus is programmed specifically for use with this foot pedal because it adds um, extra functionality to the, to the game um, because there's a thrust in the game, apparently. You know, obviously. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, there's also fire, and there's also... Um, Hey Al, welcome. Um, you've missed not much. There you go. The foot pedal. Talking about packaging and <laughs> yeah, we're talking about uh, the Oscars. We're talking and, about know, the shipping packages and things getting missed. We're um, utilizing the free form structure of the sec beginning <laughs> section of the show. Right. To... And uh, Al will recognize these because yeah. he told me a story at um, at the Portland Retro Gaming Expo about him picking up a flat of these because they offered at one point thrust plus the game packaged with this foot pedal whoa as like a deluxe package um but that was a long time ago and they're long sold out so oh, yeah. it's impossible for me to get one unless a, a, a fan of homebrew sells it which almost never happens yeah because why would you you'd but, want to hold on to your thing yeah um, so, um, yeah, long time ago. So the person that kind of got me thinking about this is Ground Trooper, the person that just talked there. And he actually found um, a copy of that Thrust Plus deluxe package that included the foot pedal. So he has just recently bought this uh, package. Um, but I had to buy this separately because this... This one wasn't made for Thrust Plus. This is made just as a third-party joystick. So this is a exactly the same as what I was describing, is assignable foot pedals. But it's got three pedals that you can assign to different That's things. That's amazing. Yeah, and it's also a pass-through as well. So you can use it on the one, same joystick, or you can put it in port two and use that as a second joystick as well. So that game that we were playing the other day, um, what was it? Did, did we play it? It was Tron. Yeah, I was going to say Tron yes. was the one. So where... you could use this with Tron yeah. and use the foot pedals to you know go left and right. Oh, Atari H says, yeah, that was some 50 years ago. Picked up a whole pallet of things from a shipper at the airport. Yeah, I remember wow, you dude. talking to me about uh, that at the Portland. Well, so you got to jump airport. on these things when you see them. Um, so what I, uh, did is bought this off eBay for not a bad price. So if people, um, yes, I, I do have the instructions how to set up the switches. Um, I kind of have the instructions. So if you could post them somewhere <laughs> or, uh, yeah, message me somewhere. Um, because I know I have to plug this into port one and where is it? Um, the driving controller into port two oh, so we're gonna figure this out on the stream we're gonna yeah we're gonna... I, I mean um ground trooper messaged me about it he said yeah plug this into port one plug this into port two and this rotates your ship right? ah cool so that's so but which um which setup which pedal do i have to set it to and which button do i have to assign it to if you could post that and we will do it right now in anticipation because why not? Um, 
Should we switch the game to be first? It is totally up to you, man. Yeah, because mm. I mean, Thrust is here. He has to leave. I mean, let's do so it. Maybe, we, we got, we I was going to put it last, but um, I don't think okay. Thrust can be around for it. So, But I do want to make sure this works. Yeah, that's a good idea. And also, it's like, it'll it'll help you. You'll probably feel better. Sounds too, like knowing. 30 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> so let's open this up. And it comes with no instructions. I, I, I don't really buy things for the box usually, so I this was kind of just a bonus. It was actually cheaper than some of them really? that, that didn't come with a it's box. It's random like that. I, I, I ordered a camera at one point that was vintage. It was the same thing, like... Yeah. It came with a bunch of accessories. And you're like, I don't care about the accessories. Yeah, and I showed it to like a collector, and he's like, by the way, these accessories are almost worth more than the camera. <laughs> I was like, oh, Sometimes sweet. they are, because people throw them away. Yeah. And collectors who want all of them, you know, oh, it came with the cover. Cover's still there. It's in very good condition. So everybody can take a look at that. Um, it's got, folds down like that. And it's got three pedals that are completely assignable. Ooh, nice clicks. Wow, yeah. And so you can assign each of the foot pedals, one, two, three, top, down, left, right, or button. That's cool, man. So let me show you that. There you go. Man, have things been distilled <laughs> down to just nothing, right? Yeah. Like programmability, like the idea that you would get a controller that's programmable. Is, I mean, obviously you can do it's it in... cool. A, a lot, you can do it in game now, but it's just amazing that like, it's yeah. like there's actual switches. It is very solid, not cheap plastic at all. Yeah, it feels like yeah, this really is nice switches. Designed to like last, dude. Yeah. Even this hinge is not bad. So let's uh, let's get that set up right now. And get into it, because uh, I don't think I have any other announcements. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. So let's switch over, and we're gonna gonna set up that right now. Yeah, it'll take a take a couple seconds. But that's what we're here for. That's half the fun. Yep. So oh, I forgot I have extenders now. Oh, um, uh, uh, Al just said he sent you a message on Facebook. Oh, okay, excellent. Thank you very much. So I'm yeah. guessing that's for the setup of yeah, the foot pedal. Yeah, that's what he said. Um, Perfect. And screenshot, so that's super oh, useful. Oh, that's even better. Okay. And the driving controller into port two. Wow. Oh, screenshot from the thrust manual. Oh. Excellent. Okay. That will be perfect. So, let me load up my Facebook. Set this stuff up. There Behind we go. the scenes of Zero Page Homebrew. That's right. Part of the setup. Fire, thrust, shields, tractor beam. Excellent. According to preference. Oh, okay, so you can assign one to the fire button, one to thrust, and one for the shield or tractor beam. Fire, thrust, shield, or tractor beam. We'll just go with that. Sure, why yeah, not? Yeah, try it with the default. So, uh, one is to fire. Okay. Let's put all the joystick, joystick. One is to fire. Second one is to thrust, which is up. Okay. And the third one is shields, tractor beam, which is down. Cool. So, I'll show you what I've got on there. And we will plug. You can hold on to that. Yeah, we'll do, man. Let me know. I can help. I feel bad sometimes. I just sit here and <laughs> just go. <"Duh." laughs> okay, so let's power that on. And get that up and going. Thank you very much, Al, for sending that over. Okay, so I will put on the thrust graphic. There we go. I don't think you can. Uh, to use this. Okay. There we go. Damn. Turn that down. Just a second to figure this out. Turn down the volume for the people out there. It is loud. Okay. So let's get that. So let's angle out the. Webcam, yes, you guys can see. 
Everybody can see the foot pedal as well. This is Sound is so much better in the Platinum Edition. Oh. Al to the rescue, yes. Okay. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. <laughs> this would be a second. So. Got thrust. Is the uh, That's driving controller working? The fire. Yeah. And what's the button on the... At fire. fire? That makes sense. Okay. Okay. So I will play first. Yes, thank God. To show you mission not completed. Yeah, that's uh, <laughs> to be expected. Okay. So that's that's thrust. thrust. Perfect. And the first one's fire? Yeah, I'll use it on here. It's much better. Oops. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's what she did. Nice. Oh, yeah. Probably gonna take a bit of time to sort of like get used to it, but I bet you if you learn this, it would be just incredible. Yeah. So. That's right, Ground Trooper nailed it. It's a whole new learning curve. <laughs> it is. It's it's very different. So you have to pick up this. Ah. Maybe I'll do this. The fire is totally fine to do on the joystick. It's it probably is. better. On the driving controller, it makes a lot of sense. What am I doing wrong here? Because that's the pickup. Oh, you gotta pick something up? Yeah, you gotta pick up that uh, round ball. Damn. And that's the button to pick it up. But I'm doing something wrong. You need two feet. Oh, you need, you need to do both of them. It's not, it's not thrusting at the same time. Hmm. Let's try this again. Ooh, it almost killed me right away. Yeah, because to shoot, you have to turn down, right? That's and, right. But, you, but then you're falling at the same time. Yeah, because then you, whoa. It was just me then. I was me. So you just not you fly this up? Yeah, you take it away. The balls are Kleistron pods, Al says. Shield plus thrust must work at the same time. It does not. It does not. Oh, I don't want to fly out of there. I don't know why it's not working. Watch. If I'm thrusting, shield doesn't work. Shield? Thrust doesn't work. Hmm. Well, it, uh, I mean, I can. Yeah, it should work at the same time because that makes it very difficult. Because then you can't um, accelerate while you're shielding. Whoa, dude. Oops. Shit is going down. It should work. Well. Not. Let's see. Fire doesn't work. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I'm dying on purpose. But um, what happens if you press fire and thrust? Yeah, I was just trying that out. So here's fire. Yep, fire and thrust works. So what I can do is switch those. Switch those out. Because I'm going to use fire on the driving yeah, control. Yeah, you see me as well. So those last two foot pedals don't work together. Okay. They're set to cancel each other out. So I will assign... and 
the shield don't work together at all. Oh shit. Either one or the other. If I press them both down at the same time, it's seemingly random which one is going to. It's whichever one you press down first. Yeah. Whoo, okay. That's really weird. I can try it on the first and third. Yeah, try that out and see. Yep. Um... Okay, let's try this out. Yep, 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 dead. I know. Yep, I'm dead. Hey. There we go. Okay, stop turning. Oh, what? We had it Why for... Why is it on fire? We had it for a glorious moment. What? What has happened? Oh, okay, never mind. Never mind. Oh, yeah, because you turned <laughs> Because I had two things assigned to the same thing. So it was just picking which one. Yeah. No. Still not thrusting at the same time as shield. Um, hmm. <laughs> Any ideas? I mean, it can be played without that, but you just have to be a lot more precise. It's just going to be a bit harder, eh? Yeah. Um, okay, well, I'm going to put it on the first and second. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I don't know why. No, I don't even have one of those foot pedal controllers anymore, so Al doesn't have that. Um... So, Ground Trooper, what is your experience with this? Oops. So you have to... There's four so things So long ago. Up. So long ago. <laughs> oh well, I'm going to try and play it just with the way it's working. Because that's what we have to do. <laughs> you may as well. It's, it's totally fine. You just press the button at the right time. And you can get it. And once you've got it, it's it's good. It's fine. Uh, drunk, drunk Mike. Oh yeah, cold beer, chips, Atari games. What more do I need? First time here. Hello, everybody. Hello, drunken drunk Mike. Hey, Whoa! Dude. You may What's be your drink of choice, drunk Mike? Yeah. You have what are you drinking man? today? I guess beer. Beer. Uh, you already told us. Oh yeah. Guess you could have a brand. But yeah. Yeah, what's your brand? Let's find out about <laughs> I'm not a beer drinker, so... I love that I just categorize all beer as one. I'm like, there's no difference. It's just it's beer. It's all beer. There's <laughs> hundreds of types. It's hundreds all of beer to me, man. Uh, it is to me. Ah! See, I'm pressing the thrust down. Okay. Oh, oh good God. luck. <laughs> I'm ready for this nightmare. I got pretty good with the joystick playing this game. Okay. So, okay, this is thrust. This is capture slash shield. Okay. Yeah, it has really, really good um, music. I'm going to read out some interesting facts oh, God. about... Oh, yeah, the turning is hard. Yeah, I would just practice up the top first. Yeah, yeah. Interesting facts about thrust and the foot pedal. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, obviously made by Thomas Yentz, as I said before. Um, Whoa. This was first posted around 2000. Um, it's a port of a C64 game called Thrust, which is a port of a 1982 game called Gravitar. Gravitar, yeah. Yes. This is... And, uh... Maybe these were so cool, man. Ground Trooper Switch 1... Three thrusting is controlled by the third green pedal. Switch two clock rise rotation. Clock rise rotation <laughs> controlled by the orange pedal. Whoa, this is the like... shield's tractor beam controlled by the first pedal. Ah uh, no! I was doing so well. I found I found my first pickup. Switch four con joystick anti clock clock rotation not controlled by the foot pedal. Joystick fire not. Yeah, you wouldn't need rotation. But Ground Trooper 
let me know if you can use the shield and thrust We're at the doing same time. It. If you can, then I will use your configuration. Um, if you're using NTSC, promise. the ground, the right difficulty switch must set be position B. You will not only get the wrong color palette, you will be un unable to fire at your enemies. No, we're in position B, so that's good. We're all good there. Okay, we're doing this. We're going, we're dropping in. We're dropping in. <laughs> this is some danger. you made it to the second level. Awesome. Ah, you know. <laughs> um, in, in 2002, Atari Age released 50 copies of Thrust Plus Special Edition. That included a foot pedal. No! Thomas Jentz and Ya Fish have teamed up to produce Thrust Plus Special Edition. This limited edition of Thrust includes a customized foot pedal. Customized? Did they preset it? <laughs> customized. That allows you to take over three functions from the connected joystick. In Thrust Plus, it used the no, it used control the friend. engine. A unique hand numbered 1 through 50 label, a custom made box with the new Thrust illustrations. A booklet containing the instructions and game development history and a bonus sticker. Um, and oh. after we played it on the show last time, um, Thomas Jens mes messaged me. He said, just watch the show. Somehow I knew before Tanya would not like the like Thrust. Yeah. It's not her type of game. This is not her. Yeah. So I, so I made sure it was this when I was doing the foot pedal. It happened to arrive like yesterday. So it's perfect timing. There you yes. Go. There okay. You go. Okay. Has to be at the end, I guess, of your track. It's, yeah, it's a tricky one to get. And you do have fuel. Yeah, I've comes, noticed that it's like diminishes as that, you go. It does come into play later. So I got an approach for this. This is I got. This is actually I totally have stickers. This. Everyone loves stickers. Yes, That's people true. do love stickers, yeah, and they're man. cheap to make, and they can look really cool if you get a good design. So. Um, I did some comments on the show, but it's easier to talk. To collect the pods easily, press press down and fire simulate simultaneously. That's with the joystick. That odd oh, combination yeah. results in a tractor beam and thrust at the same time. Mm. Can't do that here now. Oh, you're kicking ass. Uh, 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 oh, no. Uh, 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 okay. Yeah, once those you're in the sights of those guys, they are pretty it's, good it's, at killing it's you. It's honestly, too, like, it's also my... Um, my bad because like I'm still my instincts are not necessarily the best yet. Oh, with the buttons and everything. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Oh, good job. I think drummers would be really good at playing this with the foot pedal. It's true. It's just trying really to... coordinated with. There you go. Oh, oh, oh see, I just I I didn't have the like the transition you yet. Almost got. Because I had it and then my gut was like and then I pushed down on the wrong pedal. Uh, when you collect the pod, the ship and the pod form a unit, which are collect oh. connected by the tow bar. See, Since the pod really is hard. the same weight as the ship, the center yes. of gravity in the, is in the middle of the tow bar. Face, Therefore, when you thrust, at the end of no. the tow bar in an angle, no. things to tar start to rotate easily. So you have to steer in the direction you want at the same time, control and limit the rotation. That's a very unique challenge, which makes me like the game so much. Back to the C64 version. No! Oh, see, I'm an idiot. see, I made it up to... Um, level 3? Level 4. Oh, dude. With the joystick. No! no, no. Oh, God, I'm so dumb. And it felt like magnets. There were magnets somewhere, and he's like, there are no magnets whatsoever in thrust, just pure physics. Pure smiley face. Pure smiley physics. face. That's true. I think yeah. this is a good one. I think this is oh, yeah, you're right on target there. Stay on target. No, Stay just fall. On target. Just fall. There you go. Oh, oh see, it's the transition still. Okay. It, he's right. It's a completely new friggin' learning curve. It's very different. Once you get it, though, I find this this first one's tough. This first guy here is really tricky. Yeah, because you're out in the open. Oh, maybe, yeah, you push up, spin, shoot that. Yes. You just got to oh, do yeah. it quick. Ground Trooper, you got your stuff plugged in yet? <laughs> I don't know about this foot pedal thing. I got to watch the I gotta watch the video of Tanya. Oh, she just, just hates it. Was it entertaining? Not hates in her, it. In her, no. It was, no. She just gave up. She was like, mm, it's not working for me. See, it's that moment that transitions a hard one. It it's is. Like you gotta go for it. Get it in the move. 
Yeah, and you gotta this get the instincts. is way better for controlling than the joystick. <laughs> I can't imagine how hard the joystick was to do. But the only way you can play it with this is with the foot pedal. Because you're removing two controls of the up and down. And the up was the thrust and the down was the shield plus the um, shield and, and um, tractor beam, right? So you have to replace it with two other controls. Yeah, just drop down. Don't you see how you spin there? Just because oh, no, no. Oh, you can just drop down back, go right to the bottom, and then turn and shoot. Yeah, that was my oh, technique. Oh no, right? it's too dangerous. I find. I find just let you s slowly drop down, spin and shoot, rather than get in the fire, the line of fire from the dude. Like you do this, and just get it so you're just on the edge, and then just drop down. And do that. Oh yeah, that works. <laughs> I mean, whatever works for you, right? I'm like, I'll keep with my method. <laughs> Although I suspect that, like, I, you know, ah, it's hard, right? That transition. You gotta go click, click. You, you gotta like, it's you gotta have a strategy. Looked at the chat again. I've got one life left. Okay, Thru up, up three, down two, fire one, three. What? Up equals three. I think he just means he just means the coordination of the oh okay of the, of the thing right. I see. I'll I'll try and set it to that in a second after I do this because there's no pause. <laughs> You're a spaceship and there's gravity fighting at all times. Unless there is a pause. But... Oh yeah, all the other guys are gone. Yeah. I have killed them. You have success. So the yeah. easiest way to do that is to get over it, I think, with this new control scheme. Get over it. Hold down this. Well, you, it's, it's got to be the different kind, right? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, you just, just, just fly away. Wait till the other, uh, the newer, the upper levels, oh, where there's dude. a maze you have to get through to get out. Seriously? While running with out this, of fuel. With this anchor thing to your body as well. Thrust has never used the foot pedal before. Uh, you made the game, dude. <laughs> you might not have See, access this one you to start it is the issue. With no fuel. Oh, so you just have to pick up this fuel. I shoot it. Oh, no, you don't shoot it. You, pick, you pick it up. <laughs> you pick it up. Rip. Yep. Probably. Unless there's another fuel. I don't think there is. So good with this control. So good. I love it. Now I'm going to have to get this fuel. I believe in the, <laughs> I believe in the thrust. This is... Hard, but I'm getting better at it. Yeah, you're doing better than me. With the Let's and I've to... also injured my that toe. Oh the no! Second one in, so it's kind of bugging me. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Oh done. shit! We're gonna set this. Okay. Up. You haven't started, so. I did just start. I'm an idiot. Okay. Pause is black and white. Oh. Okay. How come I can't scroll? Uh, is it over here? Okay. Up is three. Up is three. Down is two. Yep. And fire is one. So which one's which? It's fire. Nope. Nope. I like it the other way anyway. Better. Trust. Yeah, because then, then you're switching feet, otherwise you have to like yeah. move one foot and over these are to really the other. Far apart. Yeah. And then you get two feet going on. Ah uh, yeah, we're using the driving controller for this one now. Um, yeah. it's Which cool. Awesome. I think it's yeah, I think it's much better. Um driving controller. Yeah, 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 for sure. It's way better for spinning fire and then you can spin back to thrust up. I just like I had I just pushed correct it. right thrust. Yeah, it's yeah, okay. just I just had the wrong one. Oh okay. So I had to like I can't make it. 
Uh, I have the fire assigned to the driving controller. I think that's automatic, the fire button. Yeah, you gotta be careful when you make this. There you go. Yeah, that's one you can get close to it. And then start accelerating. Start accelerating and then and pick then it up. It, yeah. It's a that's, that's a way to do it. Just trying to figure out an approach, you know. Because, because the other way, you're going down, and then you have to thrust, and that's very dangerous. I think that's a much better way. Yeah. I'm going to try that next time. Thrust says, you're making it too complicated. <laughs> no. We are? No. You're, you're living dangerously there, man. It's just my, uh, my, I'm getting. Because you're in the line of fire, both those guys, when you put yourself in there, right in the middle of them. That's a good point. Yeah. And then you have to kind of rescue yourself. And there's not a lot of room. I'm also just not so great at the controls <laughs> yet. It, it, that, that there's a lot going on, that right? That doesn't help, but we'll get there. I want to get this one. Out of it is. Foul out. Tip says no joystick controls in the C64 version. Was it all done on keyboard? So you're going to try your... Oh, no. I should have done your approach. Go close yeah. to it. Accelerate. Yeah, I wasn't thinking. I'm going to try that this time. It's kind of like starting from nothing again. <laughs> yeah, it's just a little slow learning. Because of the new kind of <laughs> no, oh, it's tough. <laughs> not accepting that, not accepting. Man, that. Thomas has been making games since like 2004. Man, he's OG. Oh my god, that's crazy. Well, this was completed in 2004. Well, I wish this we, was I started wish in 2000. Rust says fire plus shield at the same time. That's the, wait, that would be Thrust amazing. Plus shield pickup, yeah. I would love that. You know what? Maybe we can assign both of them to one. I think it'll be crazy. That yeah, won't work. Doesn't work. Rip. Rip. Try it, damn it. Oh, I think he means that, like, when you're at it. Probably. Oh, mmm. I don't think it works. Well, 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 we've tried pushing it at different times, right? Yeah. But, like, I think he means try it, like, when you're there. Stop cheating. Wait. Not cheating. Just starting over. Because <laughs> I died instantly. No. We'll try it. We'll oh, it all, no, all the time. All the time. Like, just keep your shield on. You can't. can't do it. Ah! Let me start over. <laughs> now I'm getting chastised for starting over. Oh. <laughs> oh. The, the, go away, pillow. Go away. It's, it keeps falling thrust down. Thrust is happening. Some is this game called? Thrust Plus is happening. That's right. Go away, pillow. your face, aliens. Great. Well, we're probably the bad guys in this game. Because <laughs> we're stealing things from other people. It's my favorite. I'm going to try your approach. Which is get close. Accelerate away from it. And then hit it, yeah. Because it's... then you don't have to counteract you going down. Because the problem is, is it's so close that, like, it, it just destroys it. Um, our setup... Yes. Um. Oops. Yeah, we tried. We tried your method. We've tried all combinations, and there's no way that this is pressing both at the same time. You cannot thrust. Um. Can the does the driving controller have to be in port two, or can it be in port one? And we can switch them out because that might be an issue. Might be part of it. I doubt it though. I doubt you could do that because it's looking for specific things in specific ports. This is a full body experience. This, <laughs> it uh... is. It definitely is. Looks like they're shooting at each other. <laughs> what was that noise? 
Sound like the phone rang for a half a millisecond. Oh, it's just the CIA. Oh, listening in. Uh oh. One seven four eight. Yeah, that's yeah. Uh, that's not. That sounds like a uh, made-up phone number. <laughs> I feel like that could be a streamer nightmare, though. A horrible message being left on your machine as you're in the middle of a game. Oh, like, what kind of horrible message? Like, something bad is happening? I don't know, like, something, anything, truly. Because that's, like, got dramatic potential. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, like, like, it's in the middle of your stream and something important is happening right. and you're missing it? Because I just thought, like, that could, be, it could leave... Obviously, you don't have a message. No, machine, it's so not that. an actual answer machine. No, I, I, I did have an answer machine in the 90s, and it was a lot of fun. I did the whole custom answering machine Everything, message thing, yeah. and... Um, I still have all my, I kept all of my recordings of people leaving messages on my machine. I would never erase them. I would just keep, keep recording them. And I have all my outgoing messages as well. Cause I would do them on like, um, I would do like multi-track audio recordings of, um, of my messages, <laughs> like really crazy ones. Like I would do, um, oops, maybe I shouldn't do that. Um, like I would do cover songs, you know that on um, Seinfeld, where he, where George Costanza does one. I didn't get the idea from there, but you, but because it was before the episode. But I did cover songs and changed all the words to be like to do with telephones and answering machines. <laughs> so cheesy, dude. You're doing very well. Yes, I am. Much better than I would. But I have played this before. So. Damn it! But there is a checkpoint, so. Yeah. You could still do that. Yeah, I could. That's a lot of people who really say that, like, most of what a landline gets is spam. Yeah. Like, I don't have a landline. That's my um, cell phone on a Bluetooth. Um, connected through all of it's so awesome. Because I could be. Because we have, like, three telephones. They're all connected to Bluetooth. And they're just all over the house. So you don't have to go search for your cell phone. There's one in each of the rooms that we kind of... So you could lose your cell phone and be totally fine for, like, months. <laughs> uh, until it ran out of batteries, yeah. Actually, it could be plugged in. But if it's plugged in, I probably know where it is. Where it is. No! Oh, no! Hmm. <sighs> It has a different feel when you have the the um, the orb thing, yeah. because Thomas Yance said your center of gravity is shifted. It's shifted to the middle of the bar between you and the ball. So you kind of have to think you're a full ship now. Oh, rather than ship. just like. But there is also rotation too. Whoa. It's very weird feeling once you've got this, and it's all weird. Dude. How much fuel I have. Yeah. I think I have just enough. Keep, I think you can just go up, pretty much. Yeah. Whoa. Are you gonna make it? Are you gonna make it? Whee! You made it! Press 1 and 2 together for thrust and the shield at the same time. Thrust. Up. Ah! That's not pause! Ah, I just rescued oh it. Oh my god, time. yeah, because you want to see what this yeah, level Yeah, we'll do it after, we'll do it after. We'll do it after. Well, I've been to this level. Not with this control, though. I've never seen these lands. <laughs> these lands are new to my eyes. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> the red ships. <laughs> the blue surrounding. <laughs> I see ah. death. I see death. Continue to rescue these orbs <laughs> from, for the mothership. Is that the mythology of this? I'd love uh, to know the mythology of this. The instructions nearby. It's always great. I love it. That's my favorite homebrew things. Because they have these, these crazy stories about like. Oh, I have none. I have the light. 
I think I earned an XP. Yeah, they, like, even for, like, the strangest, like, that other game we played the other day where you're, like, hacking into a computer and everything's corrupt and Simo. such an elaborate, yeah, Simo, such an elaborate story. Oh, I'm out of fuel. There's, there's no fuel. Yeah, you had to go down and get it somehow. You're getting better. I haven't got this far with FP plus DC. Yeah, oh, I'm getting better. Oh, yeah. Now you're going to watch me. Uh... I'm I'm getting used to the controls now. I wish my... Let me show you my toe. <laughs> oh, it doesn't look like anything anymore. There's nothing to see. Never mind. Whoa. It still feels injured, but it was like purple at the end of my toe. You are living a dangerous... Oh. Dangerous life there. Uh, yeah. Going up I that was... high I and using would... gravity to I come down. I, I thought I would try something. Oh, we were going to try out his uh, method. I don't think. Well, we've been trying so many variations. Like nothing. Those two things. Well, it's because it's up and down at the same time. Yeah. That's oh, why dude, you can't when, do it, it. when you get the, the thing at the right thing, it's so easy. That was a good time. Up is for thrust. Down is for picking it up and that's why they're not working together because that's an illegal joystick move how are you supposed to do the thrust up and down at the same time the, the, that, that's why oh, I'm just, I was trying to get this thing because I was curious what happened is this fuel what is this up equals 3 left is this anything up equals 3 Whatever. left I'm equals joystick the, I'm going to the down equals two. No, they work together. You have two pedals. <laughs> they don't. We've tried. We've been working. I'm sure that it's also, I mean, there's so many things it could be. Yeah. Well, we'll try it again. But didn't he say he's never played it with this? <laughs> yes. Yes, he did. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to. How did you test it out? I don't no, want Somebody else must have uh, told him. Dude, I'm going to do the James. That's how you do it, see? So now, go for it now. Dude, so much, so much better. Oh, God. No, no, no. No! He'll throw some randomness ah, out, but was, eventually he will get you. I should have just done it, man. Just... They work on my console. Ten minutes ago. Okay, we will try it again after this game. You have no lives left, so it'll be hold, very quick. Hold on, James. <laughs> Ye of little faith. Just for that. Gonna... What does one? What does one? <laughs> okay. So we're going to... We're going to hold it up so you guys can see what's going on here. See our adventures into the line. Okay. So, up. You said up three. Okay. Down two. Okay. And blue stick. Down two. Down one as well. What? You can't be down right? one. Up three, down two, down one. You can't sign down to two things. Um, or can you? What does one? What does two? What does three? It doesn't make sense. Those aren't sentences. Press one and two together. Okay. Cool, so, let's just follow his instructions. Okay, fire. Okay. Oops. Oops, what's thrust? Oh, fire and up. Okay, so I've got fire and up. The same thing. Okay, so I have thrust on three, and shield on two. So when I press shield, I can't thrust. Although you did just fuel it up. <laughs> the games are. The games are. Welcome, Z games are. Um, just look out for Rasputin, man. <laughs> that, that guy's hanging out with your wife. You gotta watch out. <laughs> so I've up assigned to three right now. Uh, thrust. And the shield assigned to two. So I'm pressing... Watch when I press thrust first. No shield. Whoa, that was close. And so when I press shield... No fire first, plus shield. Fire plus shield? Okay. Fire plus shield. Okay. So both fire and shield are assigned to two now. 
and it is only doing shield. Disappeared. No, up needed there. What is happening? <laughs> is this a... Oh, oh, look. That's what he was saying. He's saying a, a sign thrust and the shield together. Oh, uh, there you go. That's what Dude, he's saying. Now you got it. It's going to be an easier game, I think. Yes, it is. So now the thrust puts on the shield at the same time. James, get in there. Okay. Get in there. Get us to level five. Let's do this. Okay, let me just fix this. Finally. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Yeah. This is the problem with the. Uh, this is this is part of the fun, man. You got to experience. Oops. That's nothing. Yeah. Whoa. Okay, I want those to be on one though. That's what I'm used to. So one second. Good. Then that's all I need. Oh, and... and then. Okay, Ground Trooper says, okay, so send me your setup after the stream. I have my setup wrong. Yes. Also. Yes. Oh, this is really weird. Really weird. Got... Friends, once it's set up, though, it's set up. Yeah. It just takes a minute. Yeah, there you go. See? Okay, we're good. We're good. Dude, this game just got... A lot better. Okay, okay, okay. Here you go. Here's your weapon. Oh, Mr. Fix needs it as well. This is... Okay. I'm happy that we're not the only ones. I'm happy that this is something that um, we're learning about. Trial by fire. It's a, it's a little weird because you can't just put on the shield. Shield can... Is only assigned... with the thrust and there's no way you can separate them. So it's kind of like how the joystick is set up for down, but no, anyway. Still uh, wrong, he says still wrong. Still wrong, but this is, this is what we want, don't we? <laughs> oh God. <laughs> this is better though. You can separate them. You can. This is better, this is working. Okay. What is, what is going on? Tell me, tell me again. What is going on? <laughs> this is like a SEMO game right here. We're having to figure out, we're having to hack computers, we're gonna figure out all these crazy numbers. It's great. Okay. Thrust. Oh, Mo okay, moth I think flashbacks. I think I've got it. Okay, let's try this out. Come on, come on, come on. Press one and three together, yeah. One and three together. Well. So I've got thrust. Separate, and then you've got the double one together. I mean, yeah. that's smart, honestly. Because then yeah. you can just fly normally, and when you're ready, grab it. Yeah. And then switch. Because you always want thrust during that. Almost always. Yeah. And then maybe you could have the shield on, like, the third one. Just the shield on its own. Uh, can I do that? Don't even worry about it. I don't think it. I can. Put, push forward. Let's, <laughs> let's, let's... How's this one? One is assigned to thrusting. Two, Two is, is thrust assigned plus to th shield. thrust plus shield. And if you press them together, it fires. <laughs> what is it? You can do all three at once. Oh, weird. You've learned the ways. Makes you a Jedi Master. Okay. Is this is this is better? One only up. One only up. Two down. Yeah. Two down. Three fire. Okay. Let's try what he says. Begin it. Then I can't accelerate. Well, I press. We the... have the same issue. Yeah. That's that's one not... plus three. So three is fire. So he says one plus three is maybe them together. Is that the idea? 
It does fire, though. Yeah, it fires and thrusts. One plus three. That's not what I want. I like this. I like this. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Shield and accelerate. It's, there's many, now that we've figured it out, you can assign two things to the same foot pedal. Which is badass. Which is really cool. Um, so this is a configure, sorry, two plus three. Oh. Two plus three? So like, shield and fire at the same time? Try this. Okay. Two plus three is shield and accelerate. But I had that assigned to my second bu button anyway. Anyway, this is working. <laughs> oh, he, he, he's, he's, what he's suggesting is, is, is definitely good. One only up, which is what we've got. And then two plus three at the same time thrusts and puts the shield, which is cool. Yeah. I find that awkward, though. But I think that, like, um, probably... I mean, it makes sense. Oh, I see what you're doing. I see. I see. If you want that option of not thrusting and just the... Just the shield. To or protect you yourself can thrust from... and shield. Okay. That's the ultimate setup, what he's describing. It is, but Two's I... only shield. Yeah. I find it awkward. I think I want the shield and accelerate. Yeah, and that's where it gets into preferences. Dude, yeah. Thank what, you. what we, we've, we've done... We figured it out. We got all the options now. Yeah. Okay. So, ground trooper. <laughs> oh. What you want to do is set one to just up. And that'll just, you know, you have your thrust. Um, the way I like it, and how we've got set up here, is two is assigned to down and fire button, which thrusts you and puts on your shield. The way Thomas has it is two is assigned to down, and three is assigned to the fire button. So you have all the options, and then you press two and three together if you want to thrust and have your shield on. But I like those combined into one, I think. We'll James, try I got one more really important question, though. <laughs> what is it? I really want to know who's on second. That's uh, what <laughs> What's on second? I don't know who's on third. And I'm dying immediately. That's what we need to know next. That's yeah. the next challenge. So this foot pedal is a lot more assignable than I thought it would be. It's pretty amazing. Because you can do multiple presses. I didn't know you could do multiple presses at the same time. Like two different directions. See, it's not great for that, for getting the fuel, because you accelerate away from the fuel. So I can see his point there. But if you do that, like quick presses, it's not too bad. Yeah, this is, like, objectively better for some of this stuff. Like, this is going to be great. Like, look at that. You're accelerating as you're grabbing. So if you start in a bit and press the button, you're good. You're good. Yeah. Um, because once you've grabbed it, you don't need to hold that down anymore. Are the... Is... 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 Um... Drunk with potato chips and um, <laughs> the czar is still here. I want to know what you guys bit. think of the show so far. You I came in at the most weird time. They're We're probably like, "What is happening? Are they not playing any games?" It's like, are they just with... arguing about foot, foot pedal pedals. placement? <laughs> is this what we're doing? We are. It's all about the foot pedals, man. That's what we do at this show. It's ninety percent foot pedals. Look at that. Look Dude, at we that. We figured this out though. Yeah. We, oh, we it's got good. this set. We got a good setup. Now. And, he, and, I, and, and uh, uh, Mr. Ooh. Drunk was telling us that it's like 8 p.m., so it's totally oh, fine he's in to Europe. be drunk. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> You're allowed to be drunk in Europe, food not in North fetish. America. Right. Foot pedal fetish. Yeah, we're all about the foot pedals here. Okay, everybody, get your foot pedals out. Yeah, the it's pendulum time. effect is amazing, Carl. It really is. It's, it's kind of it's it's a weird. very unique kind of thing. See, if you do that, totally fine. And yeah. it doesn't take more than like four presses. The fun of trying at the show, that's right. <laughs> First time zero page homebrew experience. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's always weird when when you, like when you're watching a TV show or whatever, 
and you come in at the wrong episode, it could wreck your experience. Yeah, it's like, I really, like, my favorite, one of my favorite TV shows is Rick and Morty, and you saw, like, one episode. The worst. And you were like, like... Not a good representation Yeah, of it, right? and you were like, what is this show? Because you really like um, uh, Mad Max, and you watched the Mad Max episode. Yeah, because we were is... doing a Mad Max uh, marathon, so I thought, oh, that would be appropriate. And it's just totally not, like, <laughs> it's probably one of the worst episodes of the show. It's not bad, but it's like... It's weird. It's very weird. It's like the first installment of... But then again, like anything millennial is weird. You know what I mean? Like we're Damn just we're, we're just weird. It's like we like videos of people, you know, screaming at goats on the It's just you know what I mean? Like it's it's just a weird. It's a weird even, place to be, man. Even you I met don't me get at a weird point in my life. Even I don't understand millennials, and I'm presumably one of them. You are just on the. On the edge. On the edge. It's only You're getting almost too. It's only getting weird. Yeah. Millennial. People think millennials are. Ooh, for like teenagers. <laughs> That's like. That's a new. It's a an new unnamed group at this point. Yeah. People are trying to figure out the name of them still. Woo! Kicking ass. Only lost one life. Dude. Level four already. Dude, be I, ready for this. This is working. This foot pedal. This is crushing. Yeah, now we've got it configured and I'm a little bit more practiced with it. Not a problem. I vote that you keep playing. <laughs> <laughs> just to no, see how no, far no, we no, can no. get. I'll try it again, but I just yeah. think that, like, we'll see how far we can get. Because I think, you know, it's definitely one of those points where I'm like, James is the best shot to really showcase the well, game. Well, that's what happened another episode. What was the game where you were just like, no, you dominated it? Yeah, it was the cool, it was the, the first, um, uh, 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 what's the console that you showed? It was the first time you did something that wasn't Atari 2600. Oh, it's a Coleco. It's yeah, because, it, was, it was the first Coleco. Because that style of game, I'm just memorization a terrible memory so you were doing really well with like knowing where the traps were yeah i have a good memory for really stupid things <laughs> like knowing where traps are exactly Thomas, this game kicks ass with the foot pedal Dude, this rocks man oh my god it's so is, much easier and it's such a cool concept i've never seen anything like this i'm in love with this game actually oh, Dude, no, you gotta no. go sideways Get the fuck out of here. No way. No, no, that's not. Oh, no, maybe when you get no. you gotta shoot it and you gotta then it opens shoot it and the it opens. hole. Yeah, it does. Checkpoint, maybe? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> that's my guess. Risky Rick, that's right, dude. Risky Rick, yeah. Yeah, you're kicking ass with that. Yeah. RPGs, memorizing stuff. That's my game. Yeah, this is so maneuverable. Okay, I gotta get out of this spot. That was close. <laughs> Whoa! You're like locked in? Stakes have raised the belly of the beast you've just entered. Oh my god. Yeah, this would be you'd be uh, this thing. Oh yeah. Very. I believe in the pendulum. This is where the pendulum screws you. Yeah, this is just challenging stuff. Welcome to lots of Whoa! Whoa! What? what? No! <laughs> Oh, oh, that was so epic. I don't know if I've oh my God. finished this level or not. It's so hard. I believe in I believe in it. See? Oh, that's so much easier than the joystick oh now. Yeah, this is cool. I feel envious of your skills with this, because this is just... its I just don't have the same... Because um, you play a lot of flying games. Like, that's a jam of yours. Yeah, not this type. Not a rotational flying. But, like... It's, oh my it's, god. It's more in your it's, it's more in your wheelhouse for sure. It a little bit, yeah. Whoa, this oh. is an insane situation you found Stop. yourself in. Yeah, there we go. Come there we go. The okay. pendulum is cool, man. That's some cool physics. Uh Whoa. <laughs> it's not so fun. Oh yay! yay! Checkpoint! Oh Thomas. Thank you, Thomas, for checkpoints. Oh my god. This would be like very rippy if it wasn't for that. Oh yeah. It's already like ugh. It's the swinging, it's the pendulum. It's a different experience. Yeah, because now it's swinging to the right. you got to counteract it. Ah, oh, yeah. it's cool. Yeah, cool mechanics. <laughs> it's just amazing. And it's like, it's, well, it's the kind of thing that it makes this game a little bit more fun to play. Just go for oh, it. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Oh, my God. 
Never like RPGs. Well, that's how rumors get started. I don't know what that's in reference to. That's probably something I said. I'm sure it's something <laughs> I said. <laughs> oh, those rumors. I've one, heard them. I'm the one who gets us in trouble, probably. Yeah, I've heard those rumors. Whatever those rumors are. You're yeah. using too much fuel with the setup, probably. <laughs> too much fuel? You're probably right. But... <laughs> probably. Guy who created the game. I was gonna argue, and I'm like, oh no. <laughs> ah, one more life. I don't know if I'm using too much. Oh, fuel. a rumor that Thomas was doing RPG next. Really? I heard There's it. a lot of. Uh, oh, see, I see what you're doing there, Carl. I heard it on Jerbage Home Brew. What was it? I'm sorry if anything I say is affiliated towards you, Michelle. That's my best. <laughs> See, we can say things on the show and then they become rumor. Well, and that is true. I'm not picking that up. Shield costs fuel. Oh, so then just switch is what you mean. Oh, I'm not using that. Um... <sighs> Sacrifice my life. I've already posted on Twitter. What? What did you post on Twitter? <laughs> the rumor, the rumor of... Of, of Thomas doing <laughs> a... so great. This is out of our hands. Yeah. It's... What did he... I'm gonna look it up. <laughs> it's fine. What did you post on Twitter? Whoa. Maybe it was a while ago. And I won't find it. Whoa, 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 buddy. Come on, buddy. Oh, I should pick up that fuel, shouldn't I? Uh, not in this level. Or just... Thomas, does fuel... It's cumulative. It oh, he didn't actually post it on Twitter. <laughs> it's good. It's good. Uh, I like you got me. This is how we do it. Does does fuel uh, cross over from level to level? I'm thinking it does. It does, man. But Oh, I, so you should always get the but fuel. Dude, but the odds of me making this oh. is you slow. I, I haven't made it past the second level. Oh, I believe in you. You can do it now. Oh, yes. Oh, he's right. So you got to switch, right? Like. Oh, yeah, I do. That's, I do. that's what... That's because nice that he gave that, that tip, though. Because it's using double. Yeah. So I got to... That's... Sorry for flipping everybody in England. Oh, God. But <laughs> it's... Yeah, it's using double. No, I just pick it up and switch as soon as you pick it up. Okay, I'm doing this technique. Oh, it does carry over. Oh, you should always get fuel Definitely. then. Definitely. What's this blue thing do? Is that one uh, fuel as well? You if sh you shoot it, it disables those guys that okay. shoot at you. But not long enough, I've found. It, really do it only disables like for five seconds. I see. Like you wouldn't be able to shoot it and get down to those guys with any appreciable time left. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I just didn't hit my fuel. Yeah. I'm an idiot. I can get, I think you get points for shooting it, but. See, now it's disabled, but right. you're not going to make it down. Oh, yeah, you're right. Because I got to drop down. And... Yeah. Unless you're like actively thrusting downwards. Yeah. See, it's already back. It takes some patience, this, this game. I'm get, glad we played this first because I don't think we could have figured out this no, foot pedal situation. Without, without Thomas, dude, it wouldn't have happened. And the, I'm so happy you got to see his game get played, man. That's really yeah. important to me. Oh, yeah, yeah. The more you shoot the reactor, the longer the guns are disabled. So you can build it up. Oh, oh double takeout. Yeah, so if you... Sh oh, you already killed him, already, so... Dead, yeah. uh, I'm going to try that my turn. Yeah, you. I mean, you have more. I'm going to try one more time. Yes, you should. Because I did pretty you good. You did great, man. And then we'll see if you can get... I mean, I would like to be able to beat this level. That would be... Fun. Oh, you can do it. Oh, I you can do it. We'll see. It's been... It's been... At least you don't hate me. Whoa! No! Oh. Oh. See, it's just I don't have the One finesse. More. I don't have the finesse. Yeah, it's light. It it's takes, a light it touch. It takes a bit of, like, energy to sort of learn technique. It is a light touch to do that. Yeah. Too many shots, it goes... Oh, so you can't shoot it too much. Too many shots and it goes something? Uh, yeah, that uh, factory. If you shoot it too much, it destroys itself. And then that doesn't help. Oh. There you go. Oh. Uh, uh, come on, buddy. Come now on. I know I need to get come as on, much. Buddy. Come on, pendulum. Come on. <laughs> Swing that pendulum. There you go. You did it. No. Right no, 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 no. Oh. Okay, thank God. Oh, that was close. Oh. You can shoot it about 20 times. Oh, that's a lot. Okay. Oh, my God. Okay, Level so. Level three. This one, you, you got to navigate this one. And you do need fuel. You need fuel badly. 
Just do a tap, tap, tap. Oh, I see. On the fuel. I see. Oh, you know what? What? Um, I can see his point there. When you're using that to get the fuel, you're wasting fuel by getting fuel because your shield is on. Oh, not your so shield. You means... you're, yeah, you're sh you're shielding yourself. Oh, maybe no. It turns off when you're gathering. Never mind. Maybe never mind. Yeah, I mean, technically, he's totally right. And I, and also, like, if you wanted to play with like the full flexibility of the oh game. oh, you can't shoot it twenty times. Al was leading us astray. You can only shoot it ten times. Al, how could you betray buddy, us like buddy. that? <laughs> Should I just yeah okay. okay. Yeah, just, we're, we're just going for Well, this. you're going to have to encounter him on the way back, but he's kind of out of the way, so it may not be too no. much. No! Oh. Too much acceleration. Just floating. Space. Okay. okay, one more time. One more time James. on this, and we're going to go for the fuel. You have ten seconds to exit. Yeah, that was, that was your other game. That was your mission to Mars. Mars mission? What was it called? Mars. Conquest of Mars. Conquest, Conquest of, Mars. of Mars. That's a cool game. Oh yeah, kill this guy first. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not, not gonna play like that. I think that's a totally acceptable strategy. What does everybody think about? Oh my god, resetting games <laughs> when you die on like an early level. Someone said cheating. So that's one perspective. Ah. <laughs> but I mean, if you die on the first level. That's well, it's pathetic to begin with, but. Sometimes it's an accident, right? Yeah. I think I think it's more suspicious when you're doing like speed runs and stuff. Um, where you, but I mean, mm, I can understand yeah. like why the people would do that. But when you watch people play speed runs and they're just resetting all the time, oh my God, yeah. it, you, it's not. A, it's pointless. You cannot, you cannot achieve what you want to achieve. Yeah. In a speed run. And you gotta also just play it all the way through to practice that. So I think sometimes you do yourself a disservice by playing that way. Because if you push through, it just it's um it's very playable with the joystick. It's actually totally fine with the joystick, um, and it does take a lot of getting used to with this. Um, but the biggest God, the biggest help is actually this driving controller. But you can't play it with the driving controller unless you have the foot pedal. Yeah. Because it it gets rid of two options in the game. Also, it's just cool. It's a cool experience to be playing something just a bit different. I mean, the Atari is so cool because it's all these, these possibilities. Lots of peripherals. That's the big thing. So, God, this is... Sorry, I'm not even doing well this time. you're talking and playing. Yeah. That's another thing, too. Sometimes you get in a groove. And this is a hard game. Man. Oh, yeah. It's a lot to pay attention. I think once you... If you mastered it, it would definitely, like... I feel like you'd almost have to play, like, for an afternoon. Just, like you know, four or five hours of just this game, and then I think you would start to get used to it, and it would just become automatic. Because it's like anything in life. Like, if you're thinking yes. about riding a bicycle, you are you can't ride a bicycle. If you're thinking about, you know, like anything, like, you you know, you're, you're the tennis, if you're thinking yeah. about your stroke, you're not going to be able to play. So you just have to kind of go through that sucky portion of, like, learning the first steps, and then you'll be able to just kind of like start to focus your attention on bigger things it is yeah you have to this has to be second nature everything exactly. you, you have to think it and your hands will do it or your feet will do it and once you've mastered that it's like oh i need to thrust my foot will automatically press i need to fire my this button needs to be pressed yeah if you have to get past that first then when you're there it's like the whole world opens up now I know. Get all the fuel. <laughs> there we go. Where's my land? Let's shoot this dude a bunch of times. There we go. Let's see how long it disables for. Wow, that is useful. Oh, oh. Helped a bit. Uh, it's, I think it's still more trouble than it's worth, because you you're wasting fuel trying to shoot it. Yeah, and you and can just... it just only disables it for a short period of time. Unless I'm doing it wrong, still. Maybe I no, need to shoot it some more. I think you're right in that assessment. I'd say you you, you gotta just like, 
There's pros and cons. This is where it, um, this is one where it's tough. To yeah. Be easier to have his technique, but at the same time, I think once you learn the thrusting and. Stupid question, Thrust. Is this game at all related to your name? Like, was it one of the first games you made and, and this is sort of an inspiration for your thing? Or did you have the name and then you just kind of went after this? Or, I, I don't know about that stuff. I'm just curious. Yeah, because his name, well, his name on the Atari Age forums is. It's like his real name, I think. Yeah. So I think he just used it. But he can. Uh... That's cool. Oh. Nine shots equals nine seconds disabled. Okay. And ten equals dead power plant. Cool. <laughs> and zero seconds disabled. I kind of strafe them, those guys. Yeah. You kind of get into a spot where you can, because your rotations are only, there's only 16 directions, if I remember correctly, with this driving controller. So you can't have infinite rotation. I've got lots of fuel now. So it's way better to get all the fuel. Yeah, it sets you up for later, too. Yeah. Cause you wasted all it. my lives. It's tough. In the early levels, just being stupid. Oh. Rotation well, that's, helped me, actually, that time. That's right. But now it's going to swing in the opposite direction. Uh, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Dude, you gotta work with it. Work well, that's with one, the rotation. Once you learn that thing, it's, I bet you can do some pretty cool stuff. It helps. Yeah. Wow, you just get your points are pretty good. Yeah, it's not bad. Arena Foot's not here to keep Arena. track of our, our scores. We miss you, Arena. Yeah. Space yo yo, indeed. It is. It's not fun. Oh. I want to do one more. I want yeah, to do, do one, one more. more for sure. Because I was just, um, I wasted all my up lives. A things. Yeah, yeah, for sure, man. Acting like a crazy person here. There we go. Calm down. Get all the fuel. You don't want to have to worry about that as you're playing the game. Yeah. This extra thing on top of all this madness that you have to keep track of. Thank you, Ground Trooper. Not bad. I do want to get to what level five? The yeah, one? yeah. That was the, that was the one. Just yeah, you, you, I can barely like, I can navigate a maze, <laughs> let alone like a imagine getting to friggin' five. But that's a good sign. I mean, that's where gameplay mechanics are cool, because learning this stuff means... And that's where your your, your skills are just a lot, <laughs> lot higher. Oh, uh, shooting the enemies? Oh, just everything. Like, when it comes to a game like this, you're just, like... There's just, like, actual skills are higher. Skills with a Z. Exactly. <laughs> it's just... It's the hours. It's yeah, just you just putting in the hours in certain types of games. Oh, I got it! Like, geez. Yeah, it's just having that muscle memory of, oh, I need to do that, therefore it's this type of maneuver. Yeah, man. Actually, I'm probably wasting a lot of fuel at the end there, because you only need to hit it. You don't need to hit it at a certain speed. Yeah, you can potentially, just like, maximize this. <laughs> yes. This efficiency. But this double pedal is working for me, totally. It's your, it's your not not having to press down two pedals he at says, once. He says he does eight shots at the reactor and then enters the cave. Okay, well, let me uh, do it again. <laughs> it's too hard. Damn it. It's tough. Waste of life. John Wayne in it. Yeah, I'll oh, that reactor up again. That was the opposite of what I wanted to do. Uh, <laughs> I don't shoot the fuel. 
Like in Gauntlet. Uh, Don't shoot the food. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Blue Wizard shot the food. Yeah. <laughs> I used to play that in the arcade so oh, much. Yeah. And I played it the other day, and it, it's not eater. its not a bad game. Oh, yeah. But it was not what... It wasn't as magical as I remembered it. No? The layouts oh. of the games were, were a lot. Like, it was just... I think my brain is just more capable of figuring out the patterns. Mmm. Like and the it, mazes, you mean? They're just not as hard? Or? Yeah, yeah, and I just very quickly go, oh yeah, and there's this, and then there's this. But when you're like, oh my god, shooting the food. It's a cool <laughs> game, though. Like, it's fun, but it is a, it is also like, I, there's something about arcade games, though. There's a different feeling of stakes when you, well, money is going it was into bloody it. bloody expensive to play Gauntlet because there is no way you can win it yes. without plugging in quarters. That's right. Because you are, oh my god, <laughs> you're constantly, you're constant. Oh my god. This is okay. like some gravity Calm it stuff. Calm it is <laughs> happening now. Uh, ah! Oh, and I don't have it. He said, Yeah, you really need four players to make it magical. It's yeah. so true. And each one is better at different things, too. Yes. Um, there's some, just different tactics for different things. Um, me and my roommate played it on his, like, get an emulator and just beat it. But it was, like, one of those things where it's, like, if you weren't plugging in quarters, it's a really weird game. It's, 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 yeah, it's you'd have to be rich to beat it. <laughs> if you're at the arcade. Yeah, oh, hell plank, yeah. Plank, 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 plank. Okay, you cannot use shield inside narrow caves if you thrust at the same time. Oh, I... Usually I kill everything on the way down, so... I'm not really concerned about using the shield. But he's just suggesting, rightfully so, that there's a lot of tactics that oh, you can yeah. employ with his technique. Oh, yes. Yeah, I it's think more if you, flexible, if you were the but I find harder. Yeah, like, it's kind of like, we're, we're kind it. of like, um, uh, I don't know, it's like, it's like people, I, I think about people Damn who are like musicians. Yeah. They learn, like, if you learn the proper musical technique, yeah, it's from gonna, the beginning. It's going to be harder, but ultimately you'll be a better player versus, like, to do it in the yes. weird way that feels comfortable to you, you sometimes set yourself up to it's, it's like get... it's like this this setup is harder at first that's yes, right much harder but when you're when you get used to it it's, uh, it's objective killer better. oh yeah this this spinning is so good <gasps> so there we go cool game man and um yeah this is i can be used for other games any kind of game where you have a thrust Amazing. motion you can use it um um, and it can also be used in line. Panic mode. With the joystick. Panic mode. One, one more! more. Uh, uh, do it. Yeah, do one more. Why yeah. not? This is a. This I is... didn't do quite as well. Okay. He said one more. No! <laughs> no! It's in like. you. you he's just kidding. Who is it? He's just kidding. He said, oh. <laughs> Al, no, I can do it because I, I, did, I did better before. Al, you have power. <laughs> well, also, this is the first fun. time we've ever used foot pedals, so it's because cool. I just didn't want to bore everyone. It's like I'm playing this con for a long time, yeah. and we have three more games to get to. So. Oops! Al, you have power. <laughs> your voice. No power. Your voice <laughs> speaks to James. <laughs> He's got Atari in his name. See, that's right. So, oh, can you open the door? It's getting a little warm. Yeah, man. I know it does unleash the cats, but but it introduces a cat stream, which it is, does. I feel People like, like the cats. They like that. I feel like that's something that, uh, I'm just gonna get the pillow and sure. throw it across the room. Sure. <laughs> I don't, the pillows, those pillows are too floppy. They they are way they too floppy. They just fall down. I like the other pillows, like with the Galaga on it, but um, I want to display them rather than use them. Yeah. So for you have them behind us. Oh, some cool it's air. It's like my grandma oh my had goodness. these like benches that just were like from metal. And she's like, I love them. And you sit on them and you're like, what? You're seriously overlooking the comfort factor. <laughs> Hello, Tari. Oh, it's a cat stream now. You oh, thought yeah. you thought thrust plus was hard. <laughs> Introduce now. Atari climbing over you. I already lost the game. Oh well, I'll, I'm good. Someone beat the whole game a few years ago. That video might still be out there. 
Yeah. Oh, Six Sweet has joined us. Hello, Tanya. Did I reveal your secret identity? Hold on. <laughs> You're not working? What are you doing? You should be working. <laughs> hey, it's probably lunchtime, man. It is lunchtime. Look at it. It's Actually, like it is 12. lunchtime. This is what's going on. Watching it at lunch. Welcome to the stream. It's a stream. Oh, God. Oh, God. Hi, Tari. I'll distract Atari and move your feet and thrust. Uh, well, I almost die. And die. You only have so long before they kill you. Like, once you're in their sights, they're going to start firing at you, and they are a perfect shot. <laughs> this is a time with, like, triple exclamation. It's true, <laughs> I got it right. Whoa, that was close. Damn it! Sometimes you're playing a game, and then there's a point where you stop being better at the game and you start getting worse at the game due to like risk taking I think for sure like, you just you... get overconfident I think there's no game that doesn't require patience Damn it's it. just you gotta be okay. very like... no, I'm getting worse now we, we hit the threshold of thrust yeah Okay, so the next game we're going to play, we're going to switch it around. The other big game is going to be at the end, oh, which cool. is Starfire. Um, so the next game is, which is, let's see, uh, Kung Fu Combat. Oh. Uh, let me switch it up. Switching over to some different joysticks. Yeah, oh yeah, we got to switch out to joysticks. It's actually a two-player game. So I'm going to get... Uh, Oh, sick. The full screen, yeah. We're gonna be fighting. We are. Oh, sick. I've got a little uh, wall hanging shoe rack thing on the back of my door. It has all the joysticks there. It's so handy. Um, yeah, wait. You want this joystick? Sure, I'll okay. take this one. It didn't it used to be the um, uh, thing for your movie, and it switched over. Oh yeah, it used to be the outline for my for my film. Um, kind of a, it was a documentary, so it wasn't like, what are they called? Well, it's storyboards or like all, all the cue carding stuff, but it's yeah, still Yeah, it a... was cue carding, but it wasn't storyboards, it was, um, it was more like scenes, so we could figure out which scenes went where and what order the film went in. Imagine it visually and all yeah. this craziness. And the film's going to be showing in my hometown soon, yeah, in just amazing. less than a month. Which is very exciting. Now, I thought this would be... Like, I tested this out this morning, and it's a little jumpy. Okay. It doesn't cut out, but it is... It's a little jumpy. Nope, that's not what you're going to do. Oh, is he chewing? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to reconfigure... Oh, I'm ready for some kung fu. <laughs> I'm going to reconfigure the webcam, even though it is a pretty cool spot. See the Atari in there. There we go. That's not bad. Get to see a lot still. So this game is by... Oh, just turned off just a sec. Uh, Edward Smith, a.k.a. E.A. Smith. And brand new work in progress. Have you played anything by him before? We I have. recognize that name. We have, and I've started um, getting lists of everything everybody has made now. So that we... So when I ask that question... Well... <laughs> yeah, but it's... Um, so he has made Alien Attack, Alien Revenge. That's a thing in the middle and you're shooting yeah. stuff passing by above and below you. Uh, Kung Fu Combat. And Pickle, which we may have played... I don't remember. It was a while it's back so we stable. played Pickle. Um, so this was first posted January 24th, 2019. And this build is from February 9th, 2019. Um, game options selected by the select switch. Left score shows number of players. Right sh score shows game options. So we're going to play two player, actually play one player first. Cool. So we'll just play the default. Oh. I think you press the button to switch. Which start. one am I first? You are on the left, I believe. Oh, sorry. Oh. There you go. Which one am I? You are the orange suited person. Oh, yeah, you're right. It's a bit jumpy. It's the button kicks. Oh, whoa. I'll tell you the... Oh, no. <laughs> uh, I just kicked the wrong way. To jump up is up. To mm. jump forward is uh, mm. diagonal up. Oh, God. 
punch is forward and button. Uh, high kick is button and diagonal up. I got some points now. No, he got two points and he's got 11. <laughs> well, it's not bad. This is a comeback story is what this is. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> uh, low kick, button, diagonal down. Walk left, walk right. If Rocky obvious. didn't lose to Clubber Lang, there be, wouldn't be points. a third movie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, change facing direction is down. So if you want to turn around, you press down. I'm noticing the the running. It's a good approach. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, he Except got you for there. then. Whoa, buddy. It's pretty quick to react. Oh, oh, 20 points. Oh, no. We made it into the green. Okay. Scoring punch is three. Uh, high kick or jump kick, one. And low kick is two points. Uh, there's three levels. One is easy. Whoa. Uh, two is a skill level. Three is a tougher opponent. So it's three Dude. types of games. This is, this is, this is, this is hard. This is tough. Okay. Added the following. Game oh, option God. five is a mini game of just the skills the test. Way. You must kick or punch flying missiles. 99 missiles will come at you in three different heights. Uh, either side are random. You can jump but uh, and avoid but not move laterally. Gets faster after the 10th one. I don't... It's a hard game to, 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 to do, actually. Uh, it, it's a little flickery. That's not helping. Oh, 21 points. Oh, anything over 20 or above. It's just Because there is three points. So yeah. Technically, you could win with a 22. Come on, buddy. Come on. Um, he hey, says it's bug-free, it. but it is not bug-free. There's a lot of jumping around. Um, Even though the line count was fine, and I said um, on the thread that oh, the line God. count was fine, but I didn't play it on an actual system. Yeah, it's tricky. I mean, that's the thing, is hardware is always different than what... What is the thing called? Uh, uh, Emulator. Yeah. yeah, it is. Well, I mean, but what's the name of the one? It's Stella? Stella. Right? Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to learn these things. And, Slowly. Uh, we have something exciting is coming it, up. Is the for flicker stuff. worse on the stream? No, this is no. This is, this is what is it pretty, is. So I like, apologize. The for The entire flicker. screen is flickering from our end. Um, the flicker is never worse on the screen. It's exactly the same as what we see here on actual hardware. So I just the game is not 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 Work in progress. It's in progress. It's not polished. It's I don't think he's got got a lot of feedback from people that have playing, been playing it on actual hardware, on uh, digital outputs. Um, because on Stella, it is rock steady. But once you get a game onto actual hardware, things change. Stella's very forgiving. It would probably not do this jumping on um, analog televisions either. I would say that this is a really hard game to play with the Flicker because it's yeah. so precise. So, and as soon as they get close, like you see like that- you disappear, is from, right? It's like, hard to like, so I almost have to, like, the only way I can win is to get, like, a running attack. Let's, let's play with two players. Okay, cool. Okay, three, two, four. Okay. Two, oh. three. Good pop in the oh. uh, chest. Okay, there you go. Okay. Just press the button. So don't come and kick me yet. Stay out of my way. I can go for, like, back. Stop getting towards me. Oh, I'm <laughs> trying figuring out my things. So button and, and down is low kick. Button and, and up is high kick. Down is turn around. Uh, forward and button is punch. Back and button is nothing, but I think he could put in a defend there. Looks like it jitters on joystick input. Yeah, on me... Don't move, don't move, don't move. Uh, yeah, it's totally solid when nothing... Uh, almost totally solid. Well, there's lots of flickering, but yeah, if I move... Yeah, you see, if we start moving, it's like jumping around. So, Also, he, yours is fine. Like, look, like what, what I move, but the other thing is, is like, you know... I'm, you can... I'm guessing he, he's got an if-then statement, and he's running over his line count based on if somebody is pressing the joystick or not, and he's not doing proper... The flicker's not this bad on real hardware. Are you playing on a CRT? Oh, EA Smith is here. <laughs> are you playing hey, on a CRT, EA Smith? Or are you playing on digital 
a digital television. Yeah, because we have to do the digital to stream. That's the challenge. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, we'd have to film a CRT, and that looks terrible. Yeah. Pretty, um, it's nice to have lossless stuff. But yeah, so you thing. would... Watch the video. No, I did watch it, yeah. And I didn't know whether you're playing that on a... Um... But are you playing it on a CRT? Or are you playing it on a digital new flat screen television? That's the question. Um... And I did look at the line count uh, in in uh, on Stella, and it's totally fine. I mean, there's some jumps, but not during gameplay. Um, so... I think you might want to ask around why this would be jumping around on um, digital equipment because it is very difficult and you kind of disappear. See if I hold down and switch positions. Yeah, I disappear for a second. The stream, it's, like... it's exactly the same on yeah, the hardware. Yeah, it's the same stuff. Um, like the flicker is totally fine. Like if it was like this all the time. Well, yeah, totally yeah it looks fine because, like, we're not moving, but as soon as we start moving... Actually, your moving causes more issues, right? Like, you move around, see that's the... F like, you're, I'm disappearing, now yeah. you stop. Well, if I'm moving towards you, I totally disappear. Now you stop, and you'll see I don't actually affect you. Yeah, But when you kick... But, you but the whole screen's affected. You see yeah. how it's like... But for you, if you do it, it's... The screen isn't as affected, but I disappear, yeah. now you stop... And then you'll see that the whole, like, now if I go, the whole screen just goes, and then when we both go, <laughs> crazy. <laughs> yeah, madness, madness, madness. Um, but, um, so there's something to look for, for um, checking out bugs. Hey, cats. Um, because there is definitely some issues that you might want to clean up on hard on hardware. Um, so you still haven't answered. <laughs> Do you play it on a CRT or a flat screen? Because I couldn't determine it from your video because it looked like you were playing it on some sort of flat screen, but it looked like it might have been an emulator. I couldn't tell. But I'm guessing CRT, see. Yeah, CRTs are really, really forgiving. Who's having kitties for lunch? Nobody's having kitties for lunch. Definitely not. Kitties will bite us. The video was Stella. I knew it was Stella. I thought so. Okay. Um, yeah. That's yeah. The CRTs challenge. count lines differently than um, digital televisions. Uh, they don't care. They just display whatever they see whenever they see it. Um, played through Stella with an HD TV. Yeah. No, it has to be. It's a pretty unique situation I have here. That, but you could still run it through uh, any kind of upscaler or putting it directly into an HD TV out of uh, an Atari 2600 and it would look the same as this oh and also I also noticed that when you this is on Stella too if you're around here your dude gets kind of he drops down a pixel as well you see my belt he kind of goes down a bit. I don't know if it happens on you. Yeah, when I move, you see your belt pops up and down. Like you see, yeah, yeah. it's like your arm, maybe your one arm. Yeah, the ROM is posted, um, so you can go to just search for it, um, Kung Fu Combat, or you can go to my thread and I link all the games that I play to the threads. But it is, uh, it's a little challenging to play with the flicker, I think. Yeah. Because I mean, you disappear. And then, like, the problem is, is, like, yeah, if we tried to actually do this. And it'd be, like, it. crazy madness. Yeah. yeah, like, it's hard. Like, why did you get me? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I'm invisible. So we'll probably move on to the other game. We'll come back to that at a later date. Cool. Um, it's there you go. Thanks, Looking Impaler. cool, man. Yeah, I really like the idea like the of design. a two-player combat game. Um, it's just this style of game's uh, unforgiving with these kinds of <laughs> issues, unfortunately. Yeah, got it. Oh, yeah. It is. What's the next? The oh, next game is... Children of Hurin. Children of Hurin. Okay, let's do this. So just leave it on the screen. Oh, yeah. Whoa, black and white. Is this uh, Batari Basic? It is. I'm still learning. I believe so. Yeah. 
Just a, a, I think it is. Oh, Thrust has given some suggestions. Ah, V-Sync is not done correctly. He's already looking at the code. Dude, we're lucky, man, to have people like that in the community. It's yeah, amazing. To, to help out other people and it's like, just fix the little things because in Stella, a lot of things look fine. But when you put it out into the real world, there's like, there's Atari 2600 six switch, four switch, Darce 2600 yeah. Junior. And they all work differently. Like there's a technique of bus stuffing. Yeah. Does not work on some Atari 2600 Juniors. So each system works differently. And you have to make sure all the bugs are out for every system. Yeah. And then on top of that, there is, everybody has HDTVs now. That's right. And if you hook up a 2600 to an HDTV, it's going to not be forgiving of um, things like... Um, V-Sync's not doing, not being put in there properly because the HD televisions are looking for those signals. It's yeah. like, oh, it's missing. I'm going to go flip out like crazy. I, I but see. CRTs are like, I don't care. I'm just going to start analog displaying Analog input, things. right? It's just... Yeah. Um, cat, cat, stop it. That's vintage. <laughs> Other words... The cats will find the most important <laughs> thing in the room. And start chewing on it. It's how they, it's how they work. You can um, discover what the most important thing in the room is sometimes by the cats chewing them. They can yeah, give you if, that. I, a lot of times I drop things on the floor. I'm like, where is it? The cat will find it two seconds later and start batting it around and chewing on it. So this is made by Ultima, who has also made Haldor's Saga, a.k.a. Sword of Surtur, a.k.a. Sword of Ifrit, a.k.a. The Legend of Fritz. A oh, of, it, a lot of renames. These are cool ones. We did play that. Uh, Re Resident Evil 2 D-Make. And Shadow of the Colossus for the VCS. Whoa. So, That's a cool game. I played that on PlayStation 2. Yeah. I don't know how you translate that. To, I uh, haven't played the Resident Evil or Shadow of Colossus yet. Oh, uh, I did look at the Resident Evil and it looked really cool. Yeah, I, it's um, a concept you could really do some stuff with. Yeah. Uh, so he posted this on February 8th. This is his first build. This is brand new. Wow, that is that, that's pr pretty new. Um, so he says, been slowly building this closer to a demo. So what's here? A 32 by 22 play field, a temporary level to play in, a light dialogue <laughs> system, a working store, items wow. to collect, armor, magic ring, roots, helm, treasure, an enemy to kill, a spider, a death screen, a title screen, which we're looking at, a usable item, health potion, enemy random, randomly drops treasure chests, score tracks number of gold pieces, so he's got a lot done. Wow. Inventory system tracks what you find. Here I'm aiming for selectable weapons and usable items. And the theme is based on J.R.R. Tolkien's The Simil Sil Sil Silmarillion. Samarillion. Samarillion. I don't know if he spelled it correctly there. Uh, uh, Silmarillion. I think he did spell it correctly. Okay. Silmarillion. Uh, and he says it. this game may span several cartridges. Dude. Which I've never seen before. A game going having several cartridges. Um, so do dogs. My dog chewed on the cord off my vintage Zenith con console stereo. Oh, God. That's my nightmare is one of these cats destroying irreplaceable cords. That's right. So far, they've been... So far, they don't go after thicker cords. They go after headphone cords. Atari chewed through... Yeah, my headphones. Erlen's headphones. At one point. It and terrible. it was my mistake, though, because, like, I had, like, already left some shitty headphones, and they destroyed them. And <laughs> so I was they, like, no big deal. They got deal. a taste for it. And then, uh, so I, I should have been able to predict it. RIP to original micro for Microsoft Force Feedback Stick to Cat. Yeah, everybody has succumbed to the animals that destroy right. tech. My stepfather's dogs knocked over his TV. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> yeah, TV. TVs are so light TV now. TV was just on the ground and the dog looking at him like... It was a cat. <laughs> yes. It's like, oh, God. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, use the joystick to wow, move. look at it... this guy. He's got a cape. The, oh, The that, graphics that are amazing. Like, amazing. watch when you're walking, the hand mm -hmm. movement. It's an outline of a hand. He's used buy some items he's he's used transparency Gold. for the hand it's oh brilliant. no i can't escape no yeah this game actually uses um the controls oh um reset returns to the title screen on the shop press uh shop screen fire is advance and confirm no and select is escape or cancel 
There you okay. go. So just uh, wander around. You can go into that house as well. I'm going to check out this house. Hey. Nice little fire happening Dude. there. Hold. I love this character. This is one of my favorite characters that I've seen with this cape and the sword. It's really and I nice. Love, I love the animation for um, like both profiles, like the sword held up. It's the sideways. third game we're on. We have one more after this. Is Starfire. So this this game is Children of Hurin. I feel like... Is that an enemy or is that no, a friend? No, he's a friend. Hey, buddy. So Morgoth is evil. So he's giving you some info. Dude, so just classic, classic NPCs, man. I like this. So it's interesting. Morgoth is evil. The way they've used um, the Playfield Whoa. to do the... Nope. And he's slightly below your sword, so you have to... You gotta make you know, sure you... That's smart. So this game is using Playfield extensively cool. for drawing the screens and doing... What is this? That is an item. Hey. Hey, you got an item. So it says select is Whoa. the inventory. So if you go to a safe screen at some point... That's nice. I okay, so don't move. Oh, dude, I'm not on a safe screen because you oh, spawned him again. So there you go. Do okay. it again. Gurthang. That's my sword? Gurthang the sword. Can you go left and right? Battle. Oh, that's what you picked armor, up. Battle armor. Elvish knife. Boots. Shield. Gurthang. You have to hold game select. Hold on. Though. And then what if we do that? Does that do anything? No. I don't think there's any functionality yet for that. Let me know what's up. I, I, oh, bye, Al. Bye, dude. Thanks for hanging out. Have fun with your errands. I'm dungeoning it. <laughs> dungeoning it up. What's this do? Hey. Hey, child. Let me hit you with your sword. Is it an item? I am Mim. Take this. Thanks, Mim. What did, what did you, you, you give me? Battle armor. Elvish, Elvish knife. Boots. boots. Shield. Garthen. Did you get any new things? No, no. not really. Okay. That's a little awkward. Holding down the select. Oh, yeah. And then having... like you. Playing it as a one-player oh, thing. Oh God! See, like these, uh, it's hard because they because actually the children of her in. So Don't, there's the shop, there's the fire. This guy's who's homie. Hanging out. See, this one's because I can I can navigate. That's awesome. The little box that opens. That. Little sound. And then I got myself. Nice. That's a, a doorway as well, I believe. Little one going to my doorway. Hey, Mim. Mim. Where's Mim? Hey, Mim. Hey, Ultima Atari. I oh, this. Take... the the uh, guy who made this game is here. Hey, Ultima. Welcome. I'm guessing hey, Ultima likes the game Ultima. Dude, I like your games, <laughs> Ultima, but they're, they're not style. Oh, God. The graphics of the player is so good. It's insane. Like, look at the animation. Just walk back and forth. Just walk back it's and forth. so good. Look, he's walking along. The, it's super clean. I love feet. And also, like, when you throw the sword out, sideways, sideways. That's so down, good. And then up. And does the cape move back oh, and Oh, this forth resets. Too? So is this... <laughs> you can keep getting gold. That doesn't seem... <laughs> oh, now it's in a spot you can't get. Friends. <laughs> no, let's see. Resets. Spinley says, man, the animation is just amazing. Oh, oh it's yeah. insane, dude. Does it keep moving up the treasure chest? Up the screen? I tried. Go back. It, it doesn't. It's just the same spot. Random? Same oh, okay. Can I swing at it? No. See Maybe. if I go down. We'll see. Oh, it does move. Oh, now you can get it. Uh, now you can get it. It's moving up the screen. <laughs> and if I go from up top, bam. Yeah, getting the points. Yeah. Doing some farming. This is this is what games <laughs> are all farming. about. Just sitting there and just To use the potion. <sighs> do we have a potion yet? I don't think do we do. Take that. To oh. use the potion. Tell me about this potion. It's fine. I don't think you have the potion yet. Oh, is this a store? I just I think it's E. T. <laughs> oh no, it's a thing. Okay. Wait. I just stole it is gold statue. Got Girthang. Go. Battle oh. armor. Helm of Dude, Hador. That's, I, what, you that's what I just got. Okay. Elvish knife, knife, boots, shield, girthang. Okay. Dude, so I just got a helm. You still need to get the oh, potion. but I just got killed. No cheating. Hey, don't worry. Still doesn't doesn't move. Go back to that guy. I think that's the store. But you don't have any gold. No, I don't have any. Okay, gold. so go Maybe get I'll, the gold. I'll go get some gold and then we'll. Oh go God, see these guys are harder than they look. <laughs> it's because he come at a level. Just They're really small. They're so much bigger than me. Here we go. We got one. Mim. 
Mim, give me your thing. I still don't know what Mim gives me. I don't know. I am Mim. Take this. Should Thanks, we check? dude. Well, we should check your inventory before and after. Yeah. That's just like, that's just a thing. Whoa. Ah. Whoa. Ah. Don't die. Get some gold. Find a screen that gets See what gold. I mean? Bam. Take that. In your face. No. That's a deadly one to go back into from there. Because the spider trying. starts at oh, the top. God. Three gold. Why not both? What do you mean both? He, he both. can go through trees and I can't? Oh, inventory is mapped for, to select for flashback portable. We'll move it to controller too. Yes, ma very good idea. Because then we can use this. What? As the inventory. Give me the stuff. <laughs> hey, man. We can like inventory, inventory. That'd be awesome. Whoa. So <sighs> he's going to map it to joystick two eventually. Rough. Start farming gold. We gotta buy something. Okay, we gotta buy the potion. I'm, I'm gonna get some stuff. Avoid those. Oh no. Where is that screen that? I you could use this screen, but it's a long it's track a long to get one. that. Let's see though. I think it was inside there. I don't think. It was either up or inside there. Gold. Eh. Oh, Deadly I... spotter. Kev seventy three says. Indeed, man. Oh, you could go... Yeah, you can go in there and go out. That's yeah. faster. I'm just going to maybe get 10 gold. Yeah. 10 seems like a smart number, and we'll see what we can buy with 10 gold. On the shop, the screen... Shop screen fires advance and confirm, and select is escape and cancel. So I think you just didn't have enough gold... To do anything? To buy it, and we had to escape. Yeah. Uh, also, you could go wild and support a second button with a Genesis controller. Whoa. Please. Please, more hey, support. Friend. Okay. Advance. Slow down, slow down, slow down. No, it was advanced. It was going to the yep. different one. Okay, two gold. Two gold. Now you have ten. So that's the potion, I'm guessing. Should I get it? Yes. There you go. Oh, what is that glitchy thing? I think that's my potion. I don't know how to use it. That's how much you're supposed to have of gold. And it's gone all glitchy. Buy some. Oh, more. Oh, no, you can't. Okay, so now let's use it. Okay, okay. stop. Okay. Advance, advance. There you go. Okay, you're not dying yet. You have to go die because you haven't. Uh, okay. Or not die, but hey, get that's, injured. Hey, that's not hard. Hey. Oh, <laughs> Instead of getting Look at injured. this. You see, if I swing up, ah, it's so much easier. Okay, get out. Get out of there. Okay, let's try the potion. Whoa, funky. Healing potion. Oh god. Okay. No. It's not oh, good. it did heal you. You're back to full now. Yay. Awesome. Yeah. Dude, I just got 15 gold. I mean, do both. Do Genesis controller and port 2 okay. as well. Let Not me, everybody let has see, a Genesis. Let me oh, explore some. You found a little gold yeah, on the ground. a little bit of stuff kicking around. Okay, I'm going to just do a bit of exploring. There's only one item for sale at this time. And he says, what do you think? Well, we found a couple bugs. <laughs> like one this was is your, my favorite bug. There was a score bug after buying the this potion. This is the best bug it had like all a, time. Look at this bug. So, like, you fire this thing up. Uh, now it's in there, right? can't do anything oh no what are we gonna do have to then go what up. we do is we fire it up <laughs> there you go and I then what it. we do is it can't move in this screen so check this out ah oh. uh, now it doesn't push it now i'm gonna be rich <laughs> this is not gonna spend my day i'm just gonna all day farming there are gold. a lot of people who would do that buying potions farming gold farming gold see it's easier with up top now I'm going to go into this level. No, yes. Scan line count goes dude, on in the dialogue, dude, too. Dude, I just found the, uh, the helm of the Baldarian. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you got your scan, scan line count is solid on everything. Like, it's just yeah, it's amazing solid looking. screen. I, I feel as though I... This is going to be good. It's going to be a cool gets game. It, when he gets it done. Yes. Oh, I think we've got everything now. I we, think we it's a bit... The item. It's a little bit rough that the enemies can go through things and I can't. Yeah. Um, I understand why that would be the case, but... It's tough to do AI, because then it would have to bounce into something and oh, then sorry. know that to go around it. And then it just has to just fly out. Yeah. I think I've... Ex More goth is evil. Oh, your cape does wiggle as you go up. Buy some items. Yes, please. There you go. Give me some. Give me that. Let's, let's get that health potion going. Uh, and uh, nice big sprites, really, really Whoa, good. See, oh, he got him right away. at me, right? So there's nothing there. What's in this again? Yeah, this is Min. So we've done our circle. Yep, 
I think we got everything. Yeah, this is as much as the game has. Of the yeah, movie, I think. yeah. Let me it's just, the first, let me just first be release. certain of that. Yeah, so like this is sort of a circle. So like here, yep. here, here, and then if I go up, I'm dead. I should use my health, whatever. There you go. Excellent. The children. That is a really good first release of the game. Yeah, yeah, it's not a demo. No, it's just like a yeah, it's a work in work in progress. It's amazing. It's, and we I like to show off works in progress here it keeps, because you can see the pro. It's good for feedback. Mm -hmm. um, good to promote it so everybody else can check it out and they can give feedback and you get a lot of a lot of uh, beta testers happening with it. Hell yeah! But everything is really solid so yeah. far. Like you've got all the functionality. You've got a enemy inventory. You've got multiple screens. You can attack. You can heal. You can talk, dialogue, like yeah. all the basics are there. It's amazing. Like all of it. Yeah. Really, really, really good. So on to the last game of the day, which is Starfire, which was going to be the first game, but we had Thomas, the developer of one of the games, and I doubt the developer of Starfire is going to be here. He's an old school guy. I don't know if he still hangs out in Atari age or not. I haven't seen a... A game by uh, Zype, if that's Zipe. how you pronounce it correctly, Zype, um, in a long time. So maybe hmm, doesn't hang out anymore. Uh, Thomas is part of Zype. Really? Yeah, it's like a collective of people that all kind of work, kind of like Champ Games yeah. and some of the other um, big, bigger studio. games. Yes, yeah, a studio. Homebrew Studio. <sighs> Hold down the button. Oh, we'll get Starfire going. Starfire. It's the bin and you see, bam. Yep. You got it. Slowly learning the things. Don't press anything. Whoa, whoa. Hold on. This font <laughs> is reminiscent of something. Something. I don't know. Actually, I have a video to play first because this is a port of a game. Oh, sick. Um, so, let's switch over. Valentine's Day tomorrow, isn't it? It is. So, everybody hang out with your loved ones on that day. And if you don't have any loved ones, play some video games. That's right. <laughs> Fill that void with Atari. That's right. <laughs> Fill that empty part of your soul with the Atari 2600. You're never alone <laughs> with, with Atari. Atari. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good... I think they should have gone with that slogan. Huh? That's what they should have done. Okay, so let's get the volume going. Screen capture. I think we're good. Again, screen capture. Excellent. Uh, get the sound. Uh, Zype is just a group of developers did great games on their own. Okay, so it wasn't. They were just un released under Zype. Cool. And they weren't working together on games. Oh, okay. Wow. okay. Cool, Thanks cool. for letting us know, Fred. Sometimes in, cal know, in calibration. Yeah, he was part of it. So. Oh, he's still here. Hey, you said you wouldn't be here. Oh, you got your game first. Tricky, tricky. Okay. So this is a port um, of a 1978 game by Exidy. Um, hi. So we're going to play the video for you. Oh, I can't click on there. Let's click on there. So you can see it's drawing on the screen just like it drew. It says, Exidy Excitement brings you. Oh, look. <laughs> so they more. were the people ripping off more the Star Wars. Much so more good. suspicious. I've got the volume up. Let's get to some gameplay here. No. No. Not right now. Sorry. Playing the games. I don't know if there's any volume. Oh, they didn't... Uh... It's TIE Fighters just blasting into you. Yeah. So let me re uh, talk about... Starfire is a first-person space shooter arcade game released in Exidy by 19... in 1979. Oh, maybe that was a TIE demo. Fighters? Actually, oh, it was just a demo. Aren't. That's they why there was no TIE Fighters. Cool for 1979. 
is really, really good. Yeah, got some TIE Fighters, got a lock-on display. <laughs> TIE Fighters, don't tell Disney! <laughs> That's right, dude. Ooh, nice bullet coming at you. Yeah, those are pretty blatant. <laughs> pretty blatant. Yeah. But it's not Star Wars. It's, it's like, it's like Star Wars cell, like, it's Star Fire. Like, all the, like, branding, like, the laser sword. <laughs> they yeah. couldn't do it. Exactly. Just far enough it, that it, it's... It's completely coincidental. If you examine it, it's an oval shape instead of a circle shape. That's right, There's yeah. a square in the, the center the instead of a diamond. The sounds <laughs> are totally different. Oh, there's an exit ship there. Okay, that's new. That's cool. Okay. Starfire is the first person space shooter arcade game released next to it by 1979. It's the first arcade game to use the sit down cockpit. And the first game to allow a player to enter his or his, um, his or her initials. So Whoa, this is the first pioneers. game that had personalized high scores. Well, I guess 1978 though. Right? Yeah, 79, really early. Uh, Starfire is in full color without the use of monitor overlays, which is unusual in 1979. So they're all mostly black and white games. That is very groundbreaking. And it's really good, um, really good graphics too. Oh, there it is. There's the first instance of personalized high scores. Wow. That's really cool. The look and feel of Starfire is directly lifted from the movie Star Wars, <laughs> though the game is not officially licensed. What? The attract mode displays the name Starfire in the same swooping sans serif display typeface used by the Star Wars main titles. The enemy spaceships are TIE fighters, and the pl player's primary weapon is an array of four lasers that fire in an X pattern, implying that the player is flying a ship somewhat, somewhat akin, akin to an X wing. The enemy base looks like a Death Star. Additionally, the exterior of the cabin is illustrated with ships culled from the concept design artwork of Battlestar Galactica. There we go. Oh, and we just learned oh, all about God. James. That's right. What do I what do I watch? Some PewDiePie. Cat some good videos. Good morning. Cat videos. <laughs> reviews of reviews of things. Yeah. Oh. And an SRE podcast. Yeah. All that good stuff. Not terribly surprising there. So let's switch back to the game at hand Starfire by Zeif. Okay. I'm going to fight some. Brian Taylor, thanks for hanging out, dude. Oh, no, it's Ground Trooper leaving, and Paler saying bye. Oh, okay. So, let me shoot all the things. Oh, it's oh, inverted, though. Oh, is it? Yeah. Well, Those are hard. that's how you fly planes. Oh, there's the Exidy ship. In your face, Exidy. Um, Starfire is Manuel Rockstar's... Rock... Cars? Rock... Rock... Car. Second Atari 2600 homebrew title. A port of the 1979 arcade game of the same name, created by David Rolfe and Ted Mitchell, and released by Exidy. Good news. Starfire is a wave-based space shoot 'em up, uh, with several surprises you won't find in the original arcade game. Oh yeah, um, Thomas Yentz did the oh, animation in the title Exodus. screen using a tracing algor oh. algorithm. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. And the screen scramble effect is very cool. I think that was used in. Um, tank? Death tank. to Exodus. What's this? Battle tank? I'm Is in it? something. Whoa! Nice. Do, 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 do. Wave two. Uh, Doesn't Starfire have the TARDIS? <laughs> it does. It's amazing. It's coming. Oh, so they just fully, they're like, let's hit them all. Uh, Starfire features includes title tune and warp sequence by Paul Slocum. Animation screen by Thomas Yentz. Real-time calculation of up to nine double-sized independent moving what space is objects. What is this thing? Death is what it is. Oh, it's all you gonna kill it. me. Oh. Uh, intelligent anti-flicker engine, which no. is really good for 2003. There are so many um, TIE fighters. Nine different Firing starting away. waves of Whoa. increasing difficulty. So Thomas Yentz did that title screen. Uh, Starfire includes a beautiful full-color manual created by David Exton. Starfire is available in NTSC and PAL formats. In instructions, 
Uh, it is a time of crisis for the Earth forces. Years of constant assault from the Exidy Coalition has left Earth almost to totally defenseless. Intergalactic uh, intelligence have discovered a new threat. Several Exidy freighters. Is this the instructions for the arcade game? Uh, protected by armada of smaller vessels, have entered a friendly sector of space and are advancing on Earth itself. What if I just fly away from them? You matter? could. Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, it's, I don't think there's a time limit. What's this thing? Shoot everything! See, like Definitely that thing, you just fly away. Next level. Yeah, if I just dodge the bullets, it's a lot easier. Because it's trying <laughs> to shoot all the bullets. I think oh, that was yeah, a mistake. Yeah. Oh. Wrecked. That's right, dude. <laughs> um, people of Earth have one remaining hope for victory. Launching from a secret base in the remote mountains. Dude, look at this secret base. Whoa, this looks a lot is, like something that what I... What is that weird thing? Oh, You're getting hit, man. I know, it's hard, though. I Get them off the screen. It's, it's not so easy, because I, I saw my target. Uh, on target. I saw it. I saw the thing. And then, the, and then this is, feels like a rinse repeat thing, right? Because, like, I have to. Oh, see, so oh. I just flew into it. Wow. What is happening? See, now I gotta, like. A lot if of I, stuff. If I'm going always on. shooting the bombs, I'm never killing the things. Very big that sprites. That very, very big. Right. Uh, Starfire class attack oh. vessels race to counter the coalition threat. It's firepower and equal match for the enemy, but it's a rookie pilot while well, eager. Is young and inexperienced. Oh, we got some mythology. Yeah. Playing the game. The easiest and cheapest way to play Starfire is using one of the level. That's how to actually play it on the emulator. Starfire uses the left controller. Make sure it's plugged firmly in. Hold the joystick firmly. with the red button to your upper left. Oh my god, these are like ancient instructions. Uh, title screen displays the current select start starting wave. Probably good to start on wave one. The main screen puts you directly into the cockpit of your starfire at the starfighter at the top of your current shield state is displayed. The more green lights, the better. So you have five out of six green lights now. Oh, six out of six. Oh, so that was a power up. Yeah, I just thought, what would James do? Constantly fire. <laughs> uh, it's pretty fast firing. So well, you have a limited tactic. amount of it. Oh right? no, you have an overheating right? that thing in the bottom. But. When the, when the screen is full of people and you're oh, that's a good attacked, idea. it's like, why not? Yeah. In the main center window, you get a direct view of your surroundings. Below that is a meter showing your current laser heat. Oh, you killed it. Four shots from a what? laser kills a whole Death, Death Star. Star. I mean, a, 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 a round a moon murder base. star. Moon base. <laughs> yeah, murder star. Murder moon. See, like, for one, there's a bunch of these. Yeah, that's a good tactic, actually. So it's such rapid fire. Come on, uh, the, health. The bigger yeah. the bar, the hotter the laser. If the laser is getting no. extremely hot, the ship's diagnostic systems will jam oh, no. in order to prevent no. a burnout. I guess the shots get oh. faster and faster. Oh, killing. See, like... And it's... Okay. Where am I? Start there. At the bottom of the screen, your radar readings are displayed. The inner area of the display shows all objects right in front of you. The outer area shows what's sneaking in from the sides or from behind. Score screen. In between waves, the score screen displays the wave to be played next and your current mission score. And it's got some configuration switches that, like, when the left difficulty switches to um, position A, the laser heats up twice as fast. Switch to uh, oh. position B for a simpler game. So you, have, right so you have less shooting. Um, power in like A. Uh, the ship. Die. The there right difficulty. Switch toggles the Dax. movement of the spaceships along the Y, um, y axis. Set a position B for realistic flight control or to position A for reverse control. Uh, also, you can change you it can. if you want. I'm, I'm pretty used to I've done a flying lot. a ship like this. Yeah, I've done a bunch of inverted controls too. It's very quiet. I've, I've played games where like, you can't even change the like <laughs> controls and you have to learn it these is how it is. weird controls. Choosing the starting Level wave. Two. On the title screen, you can choose the starting wave between 1 to 6, either by moving the joystick left or right to decrease and increase the wave, or you can just increase the wave by pressing select. Um, okay, get some joystick stuff. Yeah. I can 
read that, it feels like it's just telling you how the joystick works. <laughs> how does a joystick work? You move ah, left, damn it. right. Damn and it! Your ship will swing left. Move left, and no, your no, ship no, will. No, no, no. <laughs> That's literally a sentence. I was kidding her out at first, and then I found. I think they're like emulating old Atari manuals, where yeah. it's like this thing that I bought. How does this thing work? I've never touched a joystick, which realistically, in 1977, some people have possible. never ever touched a joystick before. But it's just funny now to read it, especially their wording sometimes in the old manuals. It's like extreme wording. Did you make it to level three? No. It's, it's really hard. Yeah, I just died. Um, Maybe set, set it to level two. Oh, oh shit, sorry. This game is freeware, so the bin may be distributed freely, as long as it's accompanied by a documentation file, which it was. Come on. Uh, you are not allowed to distribute Starfire and the 2600 cartridges without my explicit permission. No dirty pirates! Watch your laser's temperature, yes. But what does it do? It doesn't take It just your... stops you from shooting. Yeah. So, like, you have... It does no... Oh, that's like a bonus. It doesn't matter. Does it? You're full. Yeah. And the bullets come much faster in level 2, for sure. Oh, you should have just avoided that one. Now you want to get that one. Oh, well, you got it and it went away. Yeah. I wouldn't go after that exit ship that's going sideways. It takes a lot of hits. A lot. And it's hard. <laughs> it's hard to stay on it. Yeah, and I don't really see any points in this game, so, like, I also don't quite know. Oh, God. Oh! oh come on. Down to half. Half shields. Yeah. Or half shields. What do you... Oh! Two in a row? It's just so unfair. Yeah. It's like no breathing time Sometimes between... you just get, like, wrecked. It's like in platformer games where you don't die when you get hit. You... You start flashing. This game has no time for flashing. Because you died and died immediately again. Oh, you might want to get that. Uh, uh yeah, but then I can't have to, like, there, die. There you go. There you go. Oh, it didn't give you an extra. Oh, it did. Did it? I just oh, have okay. such little life. Oh, okay. I just got killed pretty quick. Gameplay. No! Scan your radar. No! Scan. Oh, one no, left. Oh, see, you see what I mean? It just like appeared. It was impossible for me to actually use it. I'm gonna start on wave two. Because neither of us have passed wave two. You've seen the radar at the bottom. Yeah. yeah. But there's it's, very little need because there's constant well, there's so baddies. much stuff happening and if you sort of don't pay attention ah. to the radar, you're... Ah! See, it's just getting barraged. I think you have to take out enough. Guys, I think of those. Then, I think these are the ones you got killed. Really good controls and challenge. It's a lot of death moves. Right? Yeah, those <laughs> death moves, man. I don't think they're as big as. Oh, oh you got it! You got it! You just gotta shoot that thing. Dude, level three. Level three. Of course, I start with full lives on level two, so it's kind of... There well, is a yeah, score. Yeah, you can oh, do. Different enemies. So these are the, the, the oh my God. imperial oh my God. ships, right? Uh, that, yeah, that's like Darth Vader's type of ship. Yeah. Oh, get it off the screen. Get it off the screen. I need that. Oh, it didn't do anything. Or didn't I get it? There we go. Yeah! Back to full. There's not my power. I gotta dodge for the. Oh, there's the TARDIS. TARDIS. Hey! Damn it. Die, TARDIS. We just killed the dog. Woo! I think for me, all this is all about levels rather than score. Yeah. Well, it's tough that you don't know what your score is. Yeah. So it's like... But I guess they had... Um, they let you know at the end, like, after, limited... you, after you beat a level. Yeah. I guess they didn't want to use up screen real estate for another line. Totally of, makes of sense. score. Because it's not important to anything, really. Unless you get a, f a free life at a certain score, but... 
they give you things to shoot to give you extra life. Where did it go? There we go. Oh, there we go. Back to full. We're kicking ass. We're killing other targets. I, guess. I don't understand like when you kind of like get to like change levels. I mean, uh, no. didn't finish the instructions. That might be. <laughs> <laughs> Ah. 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 Oh my god. Oh, no, 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 no. That's the issue. Yeah. I destroyed the TARDIS. It was a, it was a, it was a fake TARDIS. It was made of balsa wood. It was not real. Um. Is there any info about that? I don't think there that is. It just... Vaporize energy diamonds. The scramble effect will convert. Okay, it has that. When you manage to destroy all hostiles and put a sector back under control of the Earth forces, a warp gate will appear. But oh. I've had a warp gate appear. Like, fast. when there's still guys. I know. Firing. But maybe it's certain people, like just those blue guys that you have to destroy, and then oh, the rest are fine. No. No. <laughs> no. Badge. See, there's still one there. Yeah. But it gave you a warp gate. Maybe just enough of them. I think so. It's probably just like a threshold. Either. Blasphemy. Yeah, sorry for destroying the TARDIS. It is optional to destroy the TARDIS. You don't have to destroy the TARDIS. So, it's like, <laughs> you're going to do it anyway. Ah, death to TARDIS. Death to Doctor Who. Who needs adventure and fun? <laughs> That's right. Send your mail to Cybergoth. Is that his name? Uh, I've seen his name around on the Atari cool forum. Cybergoth? Yeah. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> it's just, there you go. See, they're not all dead. They're not even close to being dead. Well, number There's, four. Is no this the first time we've made it to four? It's the first time mm, I've made it to four. First time you've made it to four. There's no Doctor Who... 2600 game is are not officially oh, oh. oh what is that mm. looks like a submarine um it's like the ship that the uh, admiral akbar guy drives. Oh. no or is it oh no 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 um, the boba fett boba fett yeah it's moving come on boba fett mm. oh, face boba one. yeah yes. there you go big points there'll be no bounty hunters here man it's messed up that like Packed up Anakin's both his legs and just left him to like rot in like the fiery pit. <laughs> like that doesn't seem like if you if you decapitate someone's yes. all three of their limbs and you just let them slowly die in molten lava, why not just kill them? Uh yes. Well, I guess that was the point is to make him suffer. That doesn't seem like the Jedi way. <laughs> it doesn't seem very Jedi. -ish. <laughs> it's like I'm not going to put your suffer you out of your suffering. You will just stay here. Oh, somebody is a very big um, Star Wars fan. Slav One. Slav One. Oh, Dude, no! Holy oh fuck. my God. Oh, they're coming fast. They are coming. Don't even. Don't even. Do you need that. Do you need that. Uh, magical. That's what you need. Get that. So you're almost dead. There you go. Oh, there's another one up there. Oh, 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 oh. oh I made it to five though. That was good. Let's start on five. What does it go up to? Nine? Nine. Start on five. Hey, Arena. Oh, you got your pain meds, man. That's not a good sign if you're not feeling well at all. It's good and bad. It's good, good that, that you got you some them. meds, but it's sad that you have to t be in a position where you got to take them. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Level five is not good for the bullets. Just get them off. Dodge if you can. I don't think you want to go after that. Oh, my, my laser heat is oh, I'm so high. Way along. Just gonna dodge for a bit here. I will kill if something gets into my radar, but okay, now it's down. There we go. I've cleared everything. My whole radar's clear now. 
Where's the exit? Oh, maybe I have to kill that guy. The exit he should. Oh, and it appeared. How's he doing? He's in some crusties. He's got some stuff out of his eye. Yeah, wave six. Laser's too hot, thrust has reminded us. <laughs> yes, it is. I shouldn't hold it down as much. Oh, dodge, dodge. Oh. Oh. Brutal. Like many games, survive. <laughs> Just trying to survive is oh. oh, that's it? Made it to wave six. I think that you might done? be it for me. <laughs> Rubbing your eyes like a little kid that needs to go to bed? No, I don't mean that. I'm just like, I just... I'm going to try one more. Keep so. going. Keep crushing. <laughs> I just feel like I've made oh. it as far as I'll make oh, it. Oh, my know? God. It's just that. It's just... I, I know when, when, to, when to say, when yeah. When to retire. Yeah. It's, uh, well, it's yeah. the best we'll do. Wave 6 is... Let's say challenging. Oh, thanks for watching, Ultima Atari. Yeah, thanks. And uh, love your game. Really looking forward to um, the progression on it. So I will, now that I've put a little, put a message on there, that I'll be updated. Which one? On it. Which one's that again? That's the. Oh, he, he makes up crazy names for his, his games that are hard to remember. Um, what was the adventure game? Oh, yeah, yeah. Of, all the, um, uh, sort of, the Children of Hurin. Ah, Children of Hurin. <laughs> yeah, there you go. This is not the sort of surf, surfer, the, sort of. the children of her in. There's definitely a pattern. To They're this all naming. cool names, man. They're yeah. all but amazing. It's stuff. like the Centurion Pendulum is the haircut of Geralt of Rivia. <laughs> things, as I said, I have a memory for things that that don't that have no impact on your life, no meaning. Oh my god. Oh my god, this level is... Yeah, if, you, if you tied your hair back, you would have a sense Yeah, my... Tanya was... Or somebody suggested to me, or Tanya suggested that... Goes, what is what is his name? Geralt. Geralt. Rivia. Yeah, and I totally could do it, except for the costume is quite involved. Correct. And... and there's many iterations of the costume as well. Right, so, I, so I'd have to go like this, right? Put the beard out, get a little scar... That's right, but you're so close, get I two am. swords... One silver for beasts. So maybe I could fake it, just get a men. real generic outfit, cause since he changes. Oh, totally. Outfits. You just need some armor or something. That's like... Yeah. So maybe I could do that this Halloween. Oh, let's listen to music for a minute. This is actually really good music. It's very cool. Uh, fake um, lever, reverb on it. When you play the note over and over again, just a lower volume. Because there is no reverb on the 2600. Very nice. Oh! Oh, Excellent. Mr. Fix. Good cats, excellent hosts. Excellent games. Oh, we got pretty good. Yay. Good cats, not excellent cats. The cats were... We did have to kick a cat out, so they don't get an excellent score today. But you get a good score because you've been very good the second half. Well, thank you for the rating, Mr. Fix, and thank you for tuning in. Um, so, everybody, make sure you vote. Uh, Cats were listed first. They're always listed, man. You can't compete with this. No. Oh, always. That's not They're possible. They're the stars, really. I mean, he's named after the Atari, so what can you do about that? Atari and Pixel. Um, so there's five more days of voting. That's right. All down to five in the Atari age um, on the Atari. 2018 Atari Awards. Um, so go to Atari Age forums and uh, check out the Atari 2600 forum, and it's in there. And you can vote for all the 10 different categories. Closes on the midnight of the 18th, and the awards presentations are on Saturday the 23rd. I'm going to be there. Aaron's going to be there. Sure. The cats are going to be there, and Tanya and Darcy will be there as well. We'll be giving out the awards. It's gonna be a fun I've got time. a green screen. It's over there. I set it up the other day with just with the defaults on OBS. It works awesome. It's gonna look great. I have to really work hard to get all the backgrounds done and all the video done for it because I have not done any of it yeah, yet. It's a lot of work. Man. Yeah, but I've been so busy with a lot of things because my film 
is premiering in Vancouver, which is where we are, it, very soon. And there's a lot of media that I've had to be, be doing. And we just got into another film festival. <sighs> But I can't release that yet to the public, and it's totally irrelevant to you guys. So. But it's a great thing. For, it is, for and that's the seventh film festival. Put the cats in tuxedos. It wouldn't happen. We'd have tux. One of them already has a tuxedo. That's right. Pixel already has, you know, the white tuxedo, and we have bow ties for both of the cats. Oh wow! So they will be dressed up. They'll be like, ah, they'll hate biting it, biting it, and trying to get it off. Call-ins. Um, I I don't think we'll be be doing call ins to the show. We will be doing call outs to the winners. Yeah, and then I guess they will hopefully they pick up. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll be talking beforehand with them okay, so that good. they know that we'll be calling them. Uh, or will we? Because we'd have to swear them to secrecy, because we will know the winners obviously we'll beforehand. Because we'll I have to, have, have to have envelopes and blah 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 and all that. Um, but yeah, I, they will be. They will know. They have to know. Because I want them on the show to accept the award. But they'll be sworn to secrecy. Or they'll be banned forever from everything. Or they forfeit the award if they announce oh, it. Oh, there's a good... Uh, there's, there's some rules. Yeah. Mm, yeah that's no. pretty harsh, but <laughs> justified. <laughs> yeah, man. So it's uh, the award show is on the 23rd at noon Pacific time, uh, 3 p.m. Eastern time, 8 p.m uh green witch what is it green witch mean time crazy green. i guess there's a town that it runs through greenwich greenwich not green witch. Yeah, greenwich, greenwich village that's greenwich. the is it greenwich village maybe i need some uh backup i could this. be wrong i'm just <laughs> making stuff up greenwich uh then i get it oh drexel gets the award drexel has popped in he says he gets the award if you reveal the uh winner if you're the winner early uh drexel will get all those awards and you don't want that, because he'll load it over you. Every right. episode he's on, he's like, ah, ha, ha, I have, look the, at, look at my I have the best sound in music in 2018. <laughs> For a game I didn't work on. <laughs> That's right. Uh, so make sure you tune in, and make sure you vote. And we'll be back uh, on Friday yeah. with, I think it's Tanya, I yeah, believe. Sounds, so sounds. 6 p.m. Um, I don't have... The schedule yet for what games i barely finished it today oh, wow. um so i will figure those out in today <laughs> and tomorrow and i don't deserve it get your awards Serena, <laughs> thank you so thanks to everybody who uh tuned in today uh drexel right the last minute or typed Snuck at the last in. minute uh mr fix arena foot carl g ground trooper impaler 26 ultima atari actually a lot of people uh azure drunken Carl something G, drunken burger beer yeah <laughs> dude kev 73 uh thrust 26 uh atari age al uh spinley 1970 uh ea smith uh the six suite uh checked in from work i want to get that guy's name is it still in the so archives it was, it was... no it's too far back it was like drunken burger beer or and something. And there was somebody else who, who had said something funny. Yeah, there's some other people that tuned in as well. Yeah, so lots lots of people tuned in. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Thrust26. Glad you enjoyed the show. I can foresee that James will play a few rounds of Thrust later on. Oh, I wish. I have so much work. It's unbelievable. I had to do the transcriptions. Um, I had to oh. go through the transcriptions again, or subtitles. Yeah. Because the... the the movie is going to yet another country that does not speak English. So they're going to have to translate it. Um, I do. Do they you know. soft code that or hard code it in? Do you have to like. Oh, they, they would. Oh, I don't know. Cause, cause, cause there is SRT support on right. players and they are not playing it. Sorry. Oh, sorry. We they, they're not well, playing well, the DCP file. They're playing an MP4 file. So SRTs can be overlaid yeah. on an MP4. And it and they said SRT, so they know what they're talking about. So I'm Just guessing they will them. do that. Um, Movie nerd moment. Yeah. Anyway, it's in a in another language. If I told you the language, you'd know where it's playing. So I can't say that. Um, but it's being translated. It's already been translated Yugoslav. into um, Spanish. Yeah. And this will be the second language. It's yeah. kind of cool. 
good show with lots of improvisation. We always have to improvise on the fly because things go wrong. We have new equipment all the time, different controls, and we get a lot of help from the Give chat. The and we really thank you very much, the chat, and all the people that yeah, listened thank you and so watched um, for all your help and for making all these games. I think every three of the games, the people who made them yeah. were in, except for um, Starfire, who was made a long time ago. So yeah. usually when we delve back into the archives... We don't um, we don't get to have the developer in here because yeah. they're just gone, you know they've moved on or whatever. Yeah, so we'll see you on Friday, except for Thrust Twenty Six because Thrust Twenty Six can't stay up till five a.m. to watch the yeah, show. Yeah, be rough because it's a late show. But thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you on Friday. Bye bye. Bye.